And hello, everyone. And I remember to unmute my mic. Hello, greetings. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone on this Tuesday? Uh, I do know what day it is this time because, well, I was supposed to be here yesterday, but, you know, few, um, few unfortunate circumstances occurred and, um, I wasn't. But we're here now. So, hello, hello. Bod, hello, and welcome to yourself. How are you doing today on this fine Tuesday as I listen to my air condition kick on the background very loudly for some reason? I should probably look into that at some point. But that just sounds like work. But yeah, we're, we're here. We're back. We're in station air as I keep running over... Bunch of solder I have on the ground for some reason. Um, let's just put some of that in the electronics printer. And I need to work on power. That's going to be the main theme for today is power, power, power. Uh, but real quick, let's turn this on and let's... Um, what was it last time? Was a, it was a mod or an upgrade? Upgrade? Nope. That's an upright. Was it a mod? Electronics printer mod, yeah. I need, um... What is Inconnel? What is Stellite and Inconnel? Um... Oh, wait, no. Electronics printer mod. I need Electrum and Constantan. Hmm. What is, uh... What is Electrum made out of? Electrum. Here we go, Electrum. We can make it in the regular furnace, thankfully. And temperature from 600 Kelvin to... Alright, so we can do the temperature fine. Pressure needs to be fairly low, and I need one-to-one -one for gold to silver to make it. I don't know why I just hit escape. Um, we have gold, and I thought... We had grabbed some silver when we were out last time. Do I remember that correctly? Still ingots. Um, oh, hey. I have Constantin. Didn't I need that? Uh, I did. Let's put that in there. And now I just gotta make this Electrum stuff. Um, silver. Silver, silver, silver. I did. Uh, <laughs> do we remember where we put silver? Uh, silica, cobalt... I know we were looking for it. I don't remember. Did we actually bring some back? Uh, is that in our mining bag? Ah, oh, we did. Yes. Okay. So let's ah, stop hitting things incorrectly. Uh, so let's say I don't want to have to keep, you know, power up the furnace, power down the furnace, power up the furnace, or, you know, bring it to temperature and, uh, and whatnot. So let's try and make. That'll give me a hundred units of it. There's another hundred, so that's two hundred units of electrum, and that should last us a little while. Um, we are already over pressure for what we need, so let's um, let's vent the pressure. Right? Is that going to allow me to do the pressure? No, that releases this. Pressure is... Oh, pressure's a valve I put outside, isn't it? Uh, cycle. Please and thank you. Pressure, 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 pressure. Start playing with the dangerous stuff right off the bat. Yeah. What about steel? Uh, did I have steel? I know there's steel in there. Enough for the mod, at least. I don't know how much steel we have left. Uh, let's go inside. And, oh yeah, I need to put... I don't know if it's best to do, like, tanks in line on these just to increase the volume of the pipe network. Or if I need to connect these pipes to, like, a larger gas storage thing to make these airlocks go quicker. It's probably quicker and cheaper in the short term to do just, like, a pair of inline pipes. And then uh, more efficient in the long run to do um, 
more efficient in the long run to do, uh, you know, the proper other stuff. Uh, so there's 66 grams of steel in there. I have another 200 grams of steel right there. Uh, so yeah, we're fine on steel for a little bit. And, oh, another 200 grams of steel there. Uh, did I put any steel in here? Contents, nothing. Contents, 8 grams of iron. I mean, if you're firing up the furnace, might as well, yeah. Yeah, I might as well make some if I'm firing the furnace, but I don't seem to need any. Also, I think I'm out of, I think the coal here, and maybe in the bag. Yeah, I don't have a ton of, I have 48 coal. Hmm. Uh, let's put our water ice down here as well. Kind of clean up our, uh, our big inventories. Put that there, put that there. There's a singular thing left. Yeah, let's, uh... So, oxides, volatiles, nitrites. Yeah. Uh, what do I need for solar panels? Um, let's see. Solar panels. Uh, let's... It'll be the regular solar panels. Um... And those need gold, copper, steel. So I can do those already. Uh, I thought there was other... So I thought there was a different wind turbine. Uh, let's F1 it. Wind. Uh, yeah, there's a different wind turbine. Because we get a ton of storms, so I figured, you know, why not throw a few of these out there. And we'll do, um, we'll do solar as well, so we can play with the tracking and whatnot. Um, but I figure, you know, for a quick, easy thing, we could throw up a few of these bad boys. Uh, wind turbine construction kit. I need a electronic sprinter tier two. Yeah, I was doing that. Uh, you can smelt a lot of copper. Yes, I can. Uh, that needed electrum as well, apparently. Copper, steel. Uh, how much copper do we have just flying around here? Uh, there's a 50 grams there. That's nickel, 8 grams, 58 grams chilling on the floor in various places, 29 grams of copper in there, and I only have 18 grams of steel in here. Okay, so we don't have a ton of copper. I do have some in the bag. We'll smelt that up as we go. I think the pressure is... Pressure is definitely clearing up. Um, yeah, because we can have... What was it again? Electrum. Electrum was like 2.5 megapascals. 2.4 megapascals is what we're going to have. So between 800 and 2.4. We're going to gain about 2 or so when we do... Um, when we throw in our... Uh, Oxide and uh, nitrice. So I will keep those. Those and those. And before we get everything fired up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and cycle ourselves into here. We'll go ahead and eat. Have some. Have some drink. Uh, and take care of all of our stat stuff before we uh, we get into a situation where we have to focus on the furnace. And I end up uh, <laughs> trying to run away to deal with something else. And the furnace blows a hole in our, our new pretty wall. And that should be about enough. Ooh, look. Uh, we'll create one potato seed. Oh, wait. Ah, these are all done. Perfect. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll replant potatoes in here. Just because I'm not eating through all the potatoes I get already. Because there's... Yeah, four potatoes I have there now. Uh, and I have a bunch of potato seeds. Oh, that's actually a full stack of potato seeds. It goes to ten. Okay. Put that away. 
We are looking at... Uh, so we're fine on air in our waste tank. What's, um... Actually, what's the... What's the Atma like in here? A little bit of pollutant. Um, low oxygen. Very high CO2. Why do I feel like the CO2 just keeps climbing in here? Hmm. Uh, what do I have in the closet? Uh, which closet? One of the ones out there or that closet there? Hydration critical. Oh, yep, hydration. Uh, we will deal with that, so... Water bottle. Helmet drink. Oxygen low. Yeah, yeah, I know. There we go, close that, put that bottle back. And... I have a 60% potato. Uh, in the workshop. Uh, we'll go out there in just a second and... Take a look. E -e 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 -e. There we go. Close the helmet. Put a 5% of a potato left. Great. Uh, let's go take a gander. Let's cycle. It was 95 kPa in there, which is about where I want that pressure for those potatoes so they grow better. Yeah, definitely gotta expand the uh, the pipe network so these these work a bit quicker. Mm. Ah, that should be about enough. Yeah, pressure is fine. What is the atmosphere in here? Uh, I have pollutant. I have. Uh, pollutant, 80% CO2. I need to pull the CO2 from here. I can dump it into there, but that's going to up the pressure. So I want to pull the O2. Oh, wait, that's why I was doing the, um... Well, that was the other reason I was doing, uh, the air handler things. Uh, but this closet, we have pressure regulators. We have a bunch of iron ore. Uh, copper, gold... Stackers, liquid pipes, just a bunch of random stuff all over the place. I should put this silicon together. Yeah, great. One. One, 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 one. Cows. Uh, pipe utility. Oh, wait, this is for... Ah, yeah. Mm, I'll hold off on putting those in line yet. I will wait. Power first, air later would be my suggestion. Yeah, that's... uh. That's what I want to focus on as well, is uh, get our power to about a neutral state where my production level matches my usage level. Uh, that way, if I do ever get the batteries charged using coal, they should stay charged for a fairly long period of time. And given the volume and duration of storms that I get, I figured some wind to start with, because it'll be easier, because it'll give me time to... to fuss around with the uh with the solar tracking all right this should be nice and yeah that should be fine uh god I, yeah i really should have put that that pipe in here that um thing so i could open and close and regulate the the pressure easier Uh, 17 kPa. 16.9, 16.7. Why do I feel like that's gone up? Or is that going down? 800? No, it's going down. I'm thinking it was megapascals. I was like, uh... Mars and its storms. <laughs> uh, you might want to do that first. Uh, do the, the solar first? Or... No, I'm doing the wind first. Yeah, let's do... Um, I have two oxide. Let's 
Dang it, that off gassed. Why? Oh, wait, this is the... <laughs> oh, I threw into the wrong spot. Hmm. All right, let's... Ah, god dang it. Hit the wrong button. Let's hit. There we go. Get two of that in there. And then let's get two volatiles in here. This is the dumb way to do this. Yeah. I only got three in there. Dang it. One of them off-gassed. All right, let's see where that gets us. That gets us our temperature, and we just passed how much pressure we want. So if I wait and have the silver and the gold... Ready to go. Gold. Silver. I just have to wait for the pressure to come down. Which is going to take a minute. Uh, but the vent is still open out there, so that should be fine. Uh, and actually, I can just throw all of this in there. Silver. Gold. Uh... The valve. Uh, that way you have positive control. Oh, yeah. Um, I just now have to wait for it to come down to two megapascals. Uh, but that's fine. We'll burn this. Once we get our um, electrum out, I will then run outside, close the valve, come back in. We'll process some copper. And once we're done with this round of processing, I'll off-gas everything, and then I'll... Um, Pull it up and then get that valve moved inside, probably just along this wall somewhere. So we can hit it and still have it, you know, go outside. Just a little worried. Uh, is the temp right? Uh, yes. It's at 1.05 kilokelvin. We need a minimum of electrum of 600 kelvin. Max is 100 um, kilokelvin. So we're good on temperature. I uh, just need the pressure to drop below 2.4 megapascals. And we should be good. As long as the temperature holds out. I know I'm getting rid of a lot of my hot gases, so... It's kind of a race, isn't it? But looks like the pressure will come down first. 2.4, there we go. Uh, we'll produce electrum. Thank you. Close that. All right. Run our little butts outside. And cancel that. All right, close that. There we go. Nice. All right, back inside. Quickly, quickly, quickly. So we can process up a bit of copper. Because we're going to need it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Quicker. Quicker. Yeah, it's close enough. And temperature is lower. Pressure is also lower. Hopefully that's enough to process the copper. Yes, I will get ingots of copper. All right, cool. All right, that should give me ingots. Ingots. Feeling better today? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I am doing, I'm doing better today than I was uh, yesterday. So, not completely solved with the issue, but, you know, it's uh, it's under control. It's at a manageable level. Well, thanks for asking. All right, close that. Uh, what up? I do need regular iron. So, let's see if we can't process some. Uh, that's not going to go into ingots. Temperature's too low. I could throw... Some more volatiles in there. Bring the temperature up. And there we go. That produces a bit of iron for the pile here. Lead, gold. I have a bunch of nickel. Although I'd plan to leave it as a... Actually, we could throw ingots in here to process. So I don't need to keep that as an ore. Close that. Actually, I probably could have just left that open, right? Um, just 
keep it in a stack of 50. That's fine. Easier for, uh, for processing. Do a bit more nickel. What are we looking at? Yep, we're fine there. Oh, I can't combine stacks that way. Okay. Those will just sit out there like that then, I guess. Uh, and nothing else I wish to... Actually, let's just, um... Let's just run this iron through. Why not? Actually, I can, uh... Leave that stack. Do these three stacks of 50, and they'll be ready to make into 200 units of, uh... Of steel later. FYI, the button turns green when it's ready. Oh, is that why the button goes green? Is that? Need a stacker to combine ingots? Yeah. Um, I could always throw them in a thing and get them combined that way, but... Uh, not a pressing issue, I don't think. Uh, I can now do... Yes! Uh, oh, no. We wanted the mod first. So I could do the larger solar pan... Uh, not solar. Do the... Um, I can do the... Boo! Ah! Uh-oh. It's hot. It's hot. I can't see. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Please go down. Oh. I forgot that I accidentally off-gas volatiles in here when I was trying to throw those into there. Whoo! <laughs> oh, God. That scared me. Let's change that so I only print the one. <coughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry about that. <sighs> it's a little warm in here, guys. <sighs> Congratulations, Bard. I think it's just you and one other person who got to stick around for that. <laughs> Whoo, I forgot about the volatiles I off-gassed in here. Well, those are gone now. Cast TV is going to be upsetting this, didn't you? <laughs> oh, well, um... Oh, that's one way to get rid of volatiles out of a room. Um, how do I see what health all these things are at now? Requires, uh, it doesn't say he's damaged. So I didn't destroy my base, though. Ooh, yeah, Cass is going to be upset after that one. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be mad. He missed it. Oh, man, that was... Whew. I'd gone, what is this, day 30... 35, 38, what'd you miss? Um, you just missed me blowing up a bunch of volatiles in this, in this room. And you missed it by seconds. Literally. It happened like 30, 45 seconds ago. You missed it. It, oh. Because I was throwing, um ice into here to get the furnace going and I even said this is the dumb way to do this I even noted that I accidentally you know sublimated some volatiles and I would need to deal with that and then I turned the printer on 40 days <laughs> bottom right corner oh it is by my little guy yeah 40 days we had our first explosion and the base is still up and going and I didn't die from the explosion Ah, I like it. It's <laughs> what a way for it to go. <laughs> for a drink to calm the nerves. Thank you. I appreciate the five Bart, and I am going to need it. Whoo, man! That uh, the second we hit print, some sparks, and then doof, and then I just kept running backwards, backpedal straight to the corner. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, hey, there's an electronics printer mod. How do I, uh, requires a screwdriver to help put that on. Alright. Oh, I can do that. We can... There we go. Hey! This looks cooler. I got a big screen now. Um... How do I tell what's in this thing now, though? Um... Turn it on. Loading. Ooh! Like, <laughs> off guard. <laughs> yeah, I I'd completely forgot about it. I made a point to say something, and then... 
Are you... Is it... Point to tool at stuff to see if it's damaged, by the way? Yeah, I had my drill out earlier. Uh, nothing is damaged. It was a very, very small amount of volatiles that was sublimated in the air. It was literally one piece of ice. But, uh, nothing is damaged. Yeah. Yeah, no damage. Look at that! We got away... We got away with it. What does that say? Is that damaged? Nope. Uh, I'll put setting five. Yeah, nothing is, uh, nothing is actually damaged. The view selection moves when it's upgraded. Yeah, I see that. And this is objectively worse. Because now this has to be on for me to see what's in it. Versus the tier one version, I could just look at this, even if it's off, and tell what was in it. So, well, the display and everything else is, is much nicer. Uh, this, is ac this is objectively worse. But uh, I am glad I got away with that explosion in, um, oh, I lived, one, is the best part, uh, and two, uh, it doesn't have to be on the tier two. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I just have to look at that area. Oh, because I looked up at it earlier, but it wasn't giving me anything. But I guess I was looking in this area. Okay, so, all right. Uh, but regardless, uh, back to back to trying to solve my power woes. Also, I guess welcome, welcome, to, welcome to welcome to the, the the stream here. I'm a little I'm a little jittery. Oh, first one is always the scary one. Yeah, that was. Ooh, buddy, uh, we wanted to do a uh, the big wind turbines because I get a bunch of storms here. Uh, Copper, steel, and electrum. I could do one with the amount of steel that's in there. Uh, 200 grams. Didn't I have like a smaller waste tank, caution. dosing of steel? Waste tank, okay. Lead, iron, iron. All right, 200 grams of steel it is. The second one is scary too. I hope I won't have a second one. Oh, God, that was... That gave me quite a fright. Uh, this will give me... I'll be able to make... 13 of these. I don't want that many. I wish I could set a, a predefined amount for it to print. And that'd be a nice... Nice change or touch to the... the tier 2 printer here. If it gave me a... Uh, an area to say how many I would like it to make. Um, but I think that's going to take, yeah, a few seconds for me to, to actually, uh, get, and I think, um, I'm going to go outside, I'm going to go outside and specifically we're going to, um, we're going to empty our waste tank here, that filled up very quickly apparently. I wonder if it's coming the heat. Uh, I know that... Uh, oh, yeah. I burned through a lot of oxygen when that happened. Holy crap. But uh, Hopefully, that's the last time I emptied that outside. I want to set up a, um, a recapture system specifically for this. So, I don't have to dump it straight into the, uh, to the rooms. I want to be able to dock my waste tank and have the... Uh, have the content sucked out and stored into a different tank. So once we get the power under control, we'll do, um, yeah, we'll get the power under control. We'll get, uh, these turbines set up. Uh, there's a, oh, I already made a solar panel. Uh, we will get these turbines set up. I've got three of them. I don't know how many more have already been made. So let's just go ahead and stop that. Dispense those. Another two, so that's five. Air tank low, yep. Cycle. Yeah, kind of high pressure in there, isn't it? <clears throat> you have a tank filler set up to do that? Um, yes, that's uh, that's kind of what I was thinking design-wise. I was going to talk through it as we, we get there. 
Uh, also, add more volume to these pipe networks so this goes quicker. But, uh, yeah, once we get um, the power situated, I was thinking a similar system to this, but instead have this pointed the other direction to push out into a... Um, into a waste tank collection piece that can be CO2 I save up for, you know, pumping back into this room and eventually get that to lead into a little bit of uh, logic and coding setup to have, um, I think it's a gas sensor I, need, I would need for this to be able to say, oh, hey, maintain the room at this level of CO2 or whatever at this pressure. So, yeah, let's... Toss that in there. 1,500. And right about there. Should be fine. Uh, eh, it's a little less than I want it, but whatever. That'll be okay. <clears throat> Next time you go out, um, take the tank to... Oh, yeah, I do have a couple of those kits. Um, also, I thought there was... There's a bit of pollutant in here. The moles have come down by... Only two moles of CO2 have dropped in here. Um, actually, I think this only reads... Because um, this changes and I lose the pollutant sometimes when I'm walking through. Uh, I think this only reads the volume of a particular area in the room. Uh, I don't think this is reading the whole area. I think the pressure reads whole area. But I think these individual gases are only reading certain spots in the room because I have been able to in the past run around and see pollutant pop up and disappear in different spots as we're filtering it out. Also, I didn't bring a battery in here for that, uh, but oh well. <clears throat> yeah, cycle. There's 96 in there. That's about where I want it. Uh, and a third volume, uh, and a third that has a volume pump the other way with a lower, that can suck, can empty, pull, yeah. <laughs> I have the right thought process so far? I hope so. Ugh, cause, well, I mean, I had the right thought process for, um, for this when I ignited a bunch of volatiles, or a little bit of volatiles. Had the right thought process, I just didn't execute on the thought process. Um, and just uh, did the other thing. Uh, the scanner reads the room, but the uh, Atmo moves cube to cube. I see. Okay, so. I got you, I got you, I got you. With that amount of gases, that's probably in a small pockets. Okay, yeah. That's uh, kind of what I figured. Let's grab, um, because we're about to head outside. I have two of these. These kit pipe small utility. Oh right, um, I have another battery charger here. <clears throat> this is our other battery charger. C C. Do I want that there? Not really. If I'm being honest, I don't want that right next to that, but. Truthfully, it doesn't matter. I just don't want it on this side of the uh, of that power. Also, I should probably at some point change this out to a um, to something else. I'm sure there's a different way to control power to that area that's a little more secure. Yeah, put that there for now. Not going to do anything with it just yet. And, all right, so let's go up, and I need to fix the, oh, actually, no, before we go out, we need a few more, um, uh, utility pipes for gases, I need iron, uh, we made some iron, 25 units, what was that about, what's in here, iron, oh, whoops, my bee. that in there. I uh, need a few more of these so I can set them up at each of the airlocks and not just... Because I have two, and I need one for either side. 
Mm. Yeah, so let's make a few more of these. So when you have literal uh, millimoles of something, uh, some cubes cannot have it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would put that one in the greenhouse. Oh, the uh, the two I have. Yeah, I'm going to put it over here. That way, there's this lets me cycle in and out quicker for the greenhouse because that's mostly where I'm eating for now. Uh, I will at some point need to set up a different habitation room. Uh, I only put in 25, so if I let these all run, that'll be five more, plus my two is seven, so we'll only get the one more. So that'll give me four more, that'll give me six. Okay, turn that off. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <clears throat> the extra battery charger, um could work in the green oh yeah it could because i'm i keep a lot of uh little things there that need um that need their batteries yeah i'll grab that off the wall later then and then go put it in there uh, but for now i need Ugh, 15 heavy coil cables is not gonna cut it for our purposes uh let's make some more before we go out coil cable heavy here we go um, it could probably actually burn through all of this, uh, making heavy coil cables. At 28, at 0.5 grams per, that's going to be, what, 56, uh, cables? And I'm gonna need them. Uh, the extra, uh, pipe, 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 pipe. Do I need pipe? Water pipe. He won't remember, grab the charger later. <laughs> Well, I mean, this, this, this is what I got you for. Y'all remember for me. This is why you throw things in airlocks. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. That way I see it on the floor as I walk by. Uh, those only stack to three. I don't like that. Uh, I have an extra airlock chip for some reason. I uh, need a drill to pull it off the wall. There you go. There. It's in the airlock. <laughs> Just eat it in there for later. <laughs> Wanna trip over to me? Like, oh yeah, I meant to do that. Yeah, that's a It's a solid way. Oh, uh, let's see. What do I I probably have a few things on me. Uh you may need extra pipe to extend the tanks. Hydration critical. Uh maybe. Hydration critical, alright. Oh, I guess uh blowing up a room. Ooh, it's very hot in this room too now. Ooh. Right, a raging fireball in here would heat things up, wouldn't it? Um, pipe. Pipe. Kit pipe. Here we go. Half a gram per. This will give me 10. There we go. Hey, 41 days and I'm not dead. I need to go in here and eat. No, I need to drink. Of course, then I realize I don't have enough... Uh, Cables and pipes and set things up. Yeah. Risks you gotta run though, right? Better than it. Strap that. Um I'll take this. It's a very awkward position for that, but uh whatever. Drink, drink, drink. Got it. Close the helmet. Ah, there we go. Yeah, look at that. And we got some regular uh, stuff here to, to get these all wired up. I want to look at making... Because I think there's different suits I can use, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I want to look at uh, I want to look at that. Because different suits and equipment probably means I can... Um, there we go. Oh, I should have brought batteries in here, too. God dang it. Yeah, well. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I want to make, um... I want to make different suit stuff as well. 
uh, a different suit. Uh, I want to see if there's a bigger. Is there a larger jetpack? Jetpack basic. I'm assuming there's. If that one says basic, that there has to be an advanced version of that. I can ha I can use. Uh, and with an advanced version, I could probably carry around more stuff. Hard suit. Ah, hard suit. Yes. He's nowhere near getting a hard suit. Aw. Makes it sound like it's going to be difficult. M2 filter. How much is left in here? 889 moles. Uh, 2.73 megapascals. Mm. Kinda low. Turn you on for a minute. Uh, oh, right. No, you work very slowly. Uh, again, I think due to the volume of the intake on the pipe network is why it works so slowly. So probably a good idea to extend this pipe network as well. Just in some crazy fashion to... to Get everything else set up. 3.73. Mm. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. Uh, for now, we want to uh, to go get some of these uh, these wind things. Uh, I'd have gone insane with not having a hard suit jetpack and a tier two tool belt <laughs> by day forty one. I mean, you know, everyone moves at their own pace. I'd have gone for a naked run outside on the moon. <laughs> That's probably a little chilly. You might not want to do that, Cass. And the squirrel starts to spin. <laughs> look, look, look. We're going to try and stop the squirrel from doing squirrelish things today. Uh, and I need, I need to actually go and get some things done. So this is an extra fib. Son of a... If it's not one thing, it's another. Give me that. Alright, hold on. Uh, because I normally only use this slot for food. We're going to put a battery there to take into there later. Uh, yep, give me that. You can go off. Give me the extra coil cable. Alright, and power you down. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Not ready to go outside yet. Uh, we're not walking away, so let's put our tracker here. We need... Extra steel frames, and these are iron sheets. I need steel sheets if I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah, steel sheets. Here we go. He's going to be carrying that battery. Air tank low already. Why am I burning through so much oxygen? I shouldn't have been out yet. Is it because it's hot in here? Might be because it's hot in here. Um... It's, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and fix the temperature in there at some point. Uh, oh, wait, I think the, the portable filter is in here. I think the portable AC is out there. I might be able to use that to bring things down. <laughs> now I'm burning through my O2 way too quickly. Ah. I'm going to have to set up the gas pipes on the, uh, the ice crusher to go to my tank over here. Which, I want it to go up and over and then down and drop into this somehow. <laughs> mm. And my waste tank's filling up incredibly fast as well. Air tank critical. Two K. 2.5, 2.8. All right, go ahead and close. Put that there, 3.1. Yeah, it, I'm sucking down O2 right now. Hmm. Uh, what, see? I'm not carrying that battery anymore. Yeah. It's on, and... Has sucked up that pollution. Okay. So, off. Alright. Cycle exterior. 
Uh, you might want to think about making a secondary tank. Secondary portable tank or secondary tank for, like, my suit tank? Oof, I need to empty that. That's, uh, that's getting a little, uh, it's getting a little dangerous there. I'm about to get the warning for it at 3K, I believe. Uh, for my suit, uh, I assume that would be done in here. Tank, tank. Uh, hmm. That O2 drops uh, too fast. Something's wrong with the suit or the canister. Mm. Now my suit's a little damaged. Damage at 14%. Uh, Could have been damaged in the fire. Yeah. Uh, where do I make that tank? No, this is called a canister, not a tank. A uh, gas canister. Here we go. I need a bit of iron on me. Put that there. Oop, nope, that's lead. Uh, this was iron. That I made for a different purpose, but uh, more emergently, I need it used here to make one of those that can sit there uh let's get outside and see if it is the temperature forcing me to um to burn through so much stuff uh make a new suit and helmet yeah um i shall get to that i'm dangerously low on all my stuff i want to at least get the frames down for these frames and then get these welded once probably some uh it isn't the temp no oh, okay i don't know if there was a um a different temperature factor that played into uh, how quickly you burn through all your stuff uh and yeah i'm still very quickly running through all that which i do not like uh and we'll put our Stuff here. Put that there. Tool belt, please. Quick little welding torch, which is actually almost out of gas itself. Bet the suit is damaged. Yeah, most likely. After that, uh, after that fire. I'm sure something's up with it. And I'm out of steel things. Put those there. Oop, nope, that goes in here. And then, yeah, a couple of wind guys. Oh, I didn't need to weld the things. Interesting. All right, so there is a... It's like power and a logic. I want the power going this way. And I think if I just do... Okay, so I need a frame between the two. So if I do like that... And then I wonder how many of these I can have on the same, um... Oh, these are... Oh, these are the different ones I already had on the ground. Oh. So I have the, the small guys and then the big guys. <clears throat> yeah, welding is almost empty, yeah. Uh, I'll either have to refill it or what's more likely to happen is I'm going to make the, um... <clears throat> The uh, the arc one. Oh wait, no, I didn't want that. I wanted wanted that. Hey, hey, hey! Stop it! Yeah, let me up. God dang it. I really need to come out here with plates just to, just to weld all these shenanigans up. Alright. And make the run down to the batteries and we'll tie into um we'll tie into the side that has the uh the cold generator on it. Make sure I don't accidentally go to the other side of things. Yeah.
put the small fries um, on the roof by the battery. Yeah, I was going to put them up there where that other small basic solar panel we started with was. Ah, god dang it. have to remember to go back out there before I go in and see what I need to ah perfect all right that's all connected uh, what did I need to get these actually to a functional state that's the question uh, welding torch steel sheets okay so I need to make more steel sheets and then probably more cables uh, I can look it up when I'm back inside Pretty funny he's going with wind power before solar. Given that those things are useless on Mars. Um, uh, yeah, I get a ton of storms though. So uh, I figured they were easier um, than having to figure out the solar tracking right now. Uh, to have at least have a few of those up. Uh, given I've getting get those storms fairly quickly, and that should be enough. Let's look at what I need for a new uh, suit. Oh, can I not make the... No, I can't make a hard suit just yet, apparently. I can make different uniforms. Uh, I assume it needs a tier 2 thing. Um, suit. Uh, yeah, so hard suit helmet needs a tier 2 factory. Uh, tool manufacturing. Uh, Astra Alloy. Ooh, yeah, I'm just going to go with a regular suit for now. Uh, regular suit. I need copper. Go in there. EVA suit. And I'll make a helmet and then get those swapped out. What do I need for a helmet? Uh, space helmet, please. I need gold. I don't know why I stared at that for so long just now. Other than there. Give me that. Throw that there. Uh, just go for a normal EVA suit? Yeah. That two kilopascals. App mode doesn't move them much. Uh, yeah. Hmm? Did I not? Oh, I didn't hit the build on the helmet. <laughs> Hopefully we can slow down how quickly we're sucking this oxygen in. Make sure we do it very quickly. Let's close that. Uh, give me that. Oh, hey, stop it. Ah, thank you. Turn off, actually. Okay, so the helmet, I should be okay swapping out directly. Uh, the suits I am going to actually need to uh, open up and change all these canisters and everything. So, spare canister. Uh, we'll start with a spare battery in there. So I need a uh, waste tank, oxygen tank. Uh, bright side is the wasted O2 is going to be in the waste canister. Yes. So not a lot. Well, except for the one I went out and vented out there. For the emergency. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I should be able to recapture. Especially if I, I vent in there, I can recapture. Uh, and speaking of which, I should have all the things on me I need to um, to fix everything. Give me these extra pipes here. Alright, let's do a quick swap. Swap. Critical. Swap and swap. Take a look at this. Um, I'm still sucking through O2 quite quickly. Hmm. Pressure up.
I don't know if any of those help. Except if you tend to vent outside, then it's lost. Yeah, that's... Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm still... Looks like I'm still going through that quite quickly. I don't have any health warnings other than I need to take a shower, but that's not stopped me before. Point your Atmo tablet at the canister. Oh, um... I put that in my... Suit. Yeah, here we go. Anti -critical. Uh, only has 33 moles in it. 1.12 megapascals. Temperature is fine. Oxygen low. Yes, yes. Low pressure. Oxygen critical. Hmm. Ah. Uh. I hesitate to flush, but I'm going to do it. Oxygen critical. Pressure critical. Mm. Yeah, I'm still sucking through O2 quite quickly. Uh, and this concerns me. Hunger, caution. Yes, 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 yes. We'll dump our waste tank in here. Mm. Take your spare canister and put it, uh, filter, fill it up completely. Oh yeah, I probably should have grabbed that spare canister. That's sitting against the wall out there. Cancel. Uh, alright. Let's... Let's go open this. It's going to up the pressure in here. Uh, but, oh, it didn't up it that much. But while I'm out there grabbing the extra canister and then running back this way and being a chicken with my head cut off, <laughs> hopefully that'll recapture just a little bit. And also, once I'm back in there, I'll add one of these in line. Even just one of these is the small thing. Should give me more pipe volume in this side of the network. To, uh, to allow that intake to happen a bit quicker. Major canister. Ooh, it's yellow as well. Oh, I don't have the spray paint. Um, paint. Bottle white. Uh, oh, I just need one iron. Oh, thank you. Uh, I want to, I want to paint it. Oh, I know it's for, uh, I know it's for regular air for me to breathe. <laughs> pressurize, pressurize, pressurize. I'd log off and back on to clear any errors. Uh, you shouldn't be burning O2 like that. Uh, it isn't hot your room is warm but not like hot yet oh, okay um yeah uh let's get this filled and then i'll do a quick yeah because i'm still sucking that down let's get this filled and then i'll do a quick little relog and see if that clears out anything Two point six, two point seven, two point eight. uh I don't actually know what the the upper limits of these canisters are. Capacity 64 liters. Yeah, it doesn't tell me how much pressure these can withstand. Uh, actually, since I'm bleeding to probably a glitch, I'm going to pause that. Uh, I want a... Canisters. So these canisters are the basics. They can hold... Uh, normal canisters uh, blow at 10 megapascals. Okay, so 
just keep it under 10. So, yeah, don't go past, yeah, like you said, 8. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm still sucking through O2. So, let's go ahead and oop, uh, save and exit, please. And let's go ahead and load back in into our world. All right, and does that seem to be taking any faster or slower? It seems the same rate. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't have any health warnings other than, you know, I'm, I'm a dirty boy. Uh, food and water would be nice, which we can do. Oh, hey, I didn't get the low oxygen warning. It must be high enough O2 in the room. 17%, uh, 53 moles. Okay. Oh, nope, I'm in two. Do that, do that. And if I have my helmet open, let's turn off the air. Uh, filters. Uh, oh, right. I left the other filter. Oh, wait. Was this ticked on the suit? Yeah. Does this tell me the state these are supposed to be in or that they go to? Uh-oh. See, now I don't know if this is on or off. Air on. Close my helmet. Mm. Oxygen low. Uh, buttons show Oxygen what the clip goes to. Ah, okay. So this would go to on. This would. Oop! I need to breathe. I should probably have my AC on. Oh, hey, that's going slower now. Oh, perfect. Ah, there we go. See, now it's... Oxygen low. Now it's going slower. What do you mean oxygen low? Oh, crap. Uh, filters. Oh, nope. Now it's sped up again once I turn the filters on. Um, hmm. It's a little awkward. Yeah, now it's going real quick again. I should slot in more filters, but I still shouldn't be sucking through O2 this quickly. Um, can't go ahead and cook that. Uh, air off, filters off. Let's open our helmet. Let's sit down. Sit down. Can I just shower in my uniform? No. No, I cannot. I have to be I have to be naked to shower. Real quick. Yeah. Alright. That is solved that. Give me that. That. This goes back on. That goes on. Close that. Suit. Set those on. Set those on. And yeah, I'm still... I still feel like that's going quicker than it, it's supposed to be. Um, let's consume this real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Let's cycle out of there. <clears throat> oh, I didn't turn off the ads. Ah, fine. 
it's not the end of the world in there for that. Hmm. It is. Uh, that's too fast for such low temp and weak pressures. Uh, it's burning like you're outside on Venus. Oof. <laughs> um, I wish it would stop that then. Because uh, it's 46 degrees in here, which should not be hot enough for me to burn through O2 this quickly. Uh, but portable aircon. Let's go ahead and grab a... Oof. Let's put a regular battery in here. Turn this on. So you should be slowly starting to cool this room down. Uh, total restart a game. Yeah, I think that's unfortunately our next step here. Yeah, and let's do it before I burn through. Quick save. Uh, exit to desktop. Let's do this before I uh, I burn through too much of my... Um, Too much of my O2. Hello? Exit. Just exit. It's fine. Alright, Stationers has stopped. I know you're all staring at a black screen because I do game capture, not screen capture. Um, retry that. Venus Atmos 250 kilopascals. Oh my god, at 460 degrees. Um, hmm. Alright, play. Anyways. Dundee OTA, New Zealand. Doomed in. Da -da 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 -da. New Zealand. Hello. Ooh, gosh. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully, uh, you have to use filter on off tick to avoid dumping your O2 uh, tank into waste. Shouldn't be huffing your way through too like that on Mars, uh, unless you're literally on fire. Well, I mean, I was literally on fire for a moment. It was like, you know, four or five seconds. But that was, you know, a little while ago. Load the world. Load world. So I would imagine... All right, we're back, and I am still sucking my way through O2, like, rather quickly. Uh, I do, don't like that. You're running. Set hot, set cold. All right. You should slowly be cooling the room. Uh, hmm. Now this is going to be a very, very... This would be the end of me. Uh, let's throw an extra filter in there. That filter is dead. Uh, take this battery out, and then I can put that back. Give me this battery. Help you guys out. That goes there. Mm, yeah, still sucking my way through O2. I don't like that. Uh, but there's not a lot I can do at the moment. I don't think. Just try and keep an eye on it, I guess. Get him. Hmm. Cycle the filter on off. Off and on. And straight back to sucking my way through. 
O2. Hmm. Cheers, big guy. Keep it up, brother. Thanks. Appreciate you, Bart. That's very kind of you. Thanks for the five, man. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, oh! That's a little slower than that I've cycled out to here. Yeah, they're out here. It's a little bit slower. Um, yeah, there's that solar panel we busted. So if I take one of these, and even just the one, I think I'm okay if I just do... So if we do one of those, I wonder how much quicker that'll make it, or if I should do the dual version, like this, to get all my inline stuff. Oh, and I'm going to have to do some squirreliness here, or move that passive vent over. Hmm. May have just squirreliness. this uh atmo tablet uh the waste canister two uh something is wonky yeah uh let's see so oh nope let's get our tablet first which is in my uniform let's drop our waste, waste uh has nitrogen oxygen and carbon dioxide why does it have the nitrogen surprising to me. Um, but everything else, the O2 and the CO2 both make sense to me. Uh, just the nitrogen's a bit surprising there. There we go, there we go. Uh, why is there nitrogen in there? Yeah, that's my question. Uh, unless when you make a suit and it just sits in a room, did I get nitrogen from this room? Uh, you may have to evac all the air uh, in the workshop system. Uh, thinks it's on fire. Ooh, ooh that's not fun. Uh, ooh, I don't have the chip to let me do that. What happens if I had an emergency override? Can I <laughs> almost get myself cut off in a airlock? Um, I probably empty out the... Because I've lost all the temperature from that furnace anyhow. Hmm. Uh, put an in-filter in your suit. Uh, can do. Uh, as soon as I get inside. Throw a nitrogen filter in. See what's, uh, see what's happening. Uh, actually, I don't have time to wait for... If my O2 is going to be... Oh, yeah. As soon as I get in here. Look, it's going... At almost twice the rate it was outside. Uh, I need this. We need filter for nitrogen. Make one of these. Turn that off. Um, don't recall the suit having an Atmo in it, uh, but you can put a tablet at it. Yeah. Let's uh, throw the nitrogen filter in there. Uh, we'll just let that sit there for now. Uh, and let's grab the old EVA suit, I guess. Toss it on the ground. And if we take her... Thank you. Take her tablet. EVA suit. Uh, it does, but it doesn't look like it's taking in any of the air from the outside. It's at 104 kilopascals. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's holding whatever its pressure is, but it's not in taking anything from the outside. So that shouldn't account for the nitrogen in my waste tank. And now I'm burning through stuff real quick. Uh, where's the thing? Uh, flush. Uh, I need my helmet to flush. Flush. I have flushed. My suit is trying to get back up to a target of 100. 
and stops at 92, and I'm still burning through. Don't, don't like. Let's swap my battery for now. Um. Hmm. All right. Uh. So I'm gonna try and evac all the air from here. Uh, it's actually probably easier if I just pull a thing off of the wall, right? Instead of open a door. Uh, I am concerned with all these just chilling around, though. If I'm gonna do that. Um, I eh, just throw them in the tool maker. It's fine. Throw you, throw you. I need you all in here. Give me this. I can go in there. Along with this nickel. This lead. Give me this. Give me that. Uh, yeah, something's wonky. Uh, the suit uh, internal is low. Uh, it's always just under target pressure. Um, but not by 10. Default is 101. Uh, and it usually sets 98, 99. Yeah, so we have it at 100. I think that's what... We'll pressure it up by one. See if this jumps. Only by one, though. And this is the new suit and helmet we just made. Um, zero percent CO two filter. I need to clean up things eventually. All right, get all this solder off the ground. And if I put this chip in here, can I unselect my doors? Let's see. Uh, door, door. And then can I just open these doors? Yeah, there we go. Get out of the way. Let all that go out. Uh, did you make two new canisters? I made one new canister. Uh, and that's currently what we have on us for O2 is the new canister. I can make a new one for waste and just swap these out. Uh, but let's get all of this out. Interior pressure is dropping, dropping, dropping. I'm still burning through O2 though. Uh, let's make a canister. be ready to grab it or it's actually just going to go against the wall got it and let's throw a new waste canister on and it's still going pretty quickly hmm yeah let's let's just wait for the rest of this to, to clear out then it's at about 60 Yeah, I do burn O2 a little slower outside. Uh, but it's still quicker than it should be, or quicker than I remember it being. Um, pull a panel and frame off the wall. Uh, and break the room. Uh, okay. Let's do that. Give me a crowbar. Just pull this one. Screw it. There you go. Uh, that should break the room, right? Because I can now walk into here and walk out of here. Does that break the room, or do I need to pull this whole wall piece out? Um, hopefully that broke the room, uh, like you're hoping. And then I guess when I reconstruct the room, hopefully we're going to tell the tell the game it's, it's, it's going crazy. No, it's still room. Um, if you look at the Atmo tablet. Uh, yeah, still room seven. Okay, so I need to get rid of that then. Uh, give me an angle grinder. Also put that away. Huh? Uh, deconstruct. Oh, I don't have a battery in my angle grinder? I do not have a battery in the angle grinder. Oh. Okay. Um, that's a little awkward, but all right. Got a battery now. There we go. Got it. Give me the tablet back. 
World, yes. We are now the world. Uh, which means I should be safe to put this back. Which way did I put these? These are the other way. Like that. Put that back. Take our still sheet. There we go. What the? What is that? Why do I see part of the frame through there? Hmm. Why do I she frame pots? Y'all are on the same side. Everything should be seemed to meshed up. Oh, I probably used a different one, didn't I? A uh, different wall uh, panel, but I will. Yeah. Only takes a second to, to grab these again. Uh, which one did I use? Panel, wall, flats. Did I use a flat? Uh, wall flat, yeah. I did use a flat. Give me that. And then that. There we go. That's better. Ammo tablet. Room 12 now. I am... It's going a little slower now, yeah? At about maybe half the rate, like I'm standing out in the world again. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can't go... Composite door. Composite door. All right. There and there. So trying to aim for 95 on that internal side. Her name for zero on the external side. Hmm. Also see the O2 isn't uh, burning as fast. Yes, it is not. It is slower. Mm. Need to scrub nitrogen pollutant. Uh, actually, nitrogen can stay in there. I need to scrub the pollutant. I need to change the CO2 into O2. And... Iron sheets I need to put away. Okay, so I did need more steel sheets to build the two things out there. Uh, sheets of steel. That'll give me 36, so yeah, let's go with that. Um, this tank's a little low. So might as well cycle into here. Deal with our water that's down at 40. And then deal with our... Uh, outward is very limited still. It's quicker, most certainly, but it's not enough. So I probably should have done the the two little tanks up on the top. Um, so it was just not enough. Air tank low. Yes, yes. I'm in here to deal with that. Uh, what is in you? Just O2 is in this canister. All right. See if we can't fill you. 0.5, 7. Well, I'm out of ideas at this point. <laughs> it's like the Kaboom glitched your unit. Yeah, apparently. Even if after we've restarted the uh, start of the game. So, 4. I will shut off at 5. And whatever we have after that, we'll just deal with. There you go. Eh, and I might as well fill this up. And this room has life-giving plants, yes. So thankfully, this room will still allow me to open my helmet, shut off my O2. So while I'm in here, I could probably air off and do that. Uh, filters off as well. All right, get that to there. You have 512 moles. Um, you're still at 100% outtake. So that's my filtered. So this should be going and filling that and that while that's on. This is intaking, but it's only intaking very slowly. 
Uh, plus, there's not you know a massive amount of volume of gas in this this small area. Eventually, this will um, this all get changed out and over. All right, probably don't need this in here so long as I keep this airlock okay and maintained and transition in and out uh, the correct ways. I'll be okay on that end. Uh, hmm. I'll close my helmet now. Hmm, it's interesting. Uh, whatever, though. Uh, so those potatoes are growing. That's... Fine? Question mark? Uh, give me these pipes. I'm gonna take these out with me. And... Because this still went a little slowly. I think I'll do the double tank in this area. To increase this pipe network volume. Because it did seem to speed this up a little bit. Uh, pressurizing this going in. Uh, I didn't put any... Oh no, I put a small one on that side as well. So that should be something. And there it goes. Perfect. Should be something. Uh, but these will slowly turn the CO2 in here to O2. This will grab that. Actually, you're probably just burning through power right now. And not giving me a whole lot of benefit. Yeah, so. Alright. Um, how much you want to bet you'll... Uh, forget to turn on the suit. Um, I'll take those odds. Alright. Uh, okay, so I should have steel sheets now to go out and do those. They probably also want wires. I'll burn a little bit more coal to get these, uh, these batteries up and running again. Uh, because that one's on its last legs. So let's do that. Let's do it quick, fast, in a hurry, too. Filters on, air on. And straight back to... Ooh, that's burning like crazy. Mm, eh, it slowed down a little just now. Uh, probably was pressurizing my suit, but it still goes really, really fast. All right, so let's cycle. All right, so this side of things is usually pretty quickly. And then this side is usually fairly... S oh, there's no pressure on that end. Oh, right. There's not enough pressure in this room for me to suck and be able to go through. Ah, right, so I've got to hit cancel on those. And... Yep, that is now discharging, so... Uh, I have a bit of coal on me. We needed the... Hold on before I go out... Needed these steel sheets. Thank you. Um, I don't know what else. Let's go wind. So wind turbines. Kit. So five steel sheets, five coil cables. So I need ten and ten. And I have... Yeah, I'll have enough for both of those. So we'll at least have our two um, wind turbines up and running for when the storm inevitably hits. Watch, I don't get another storm ever. All the storms are gone now that you have a way to, to work. Uh, I think it was welding torch I needed. Yeah, it was. Oh, nope. That's a hand drill I'm holding. Son of a... There we go. That's a welding torch. Should also make the uh, the arc version. Coil cable, coil cable, and then I need uh, it was a screwdriver. Yeah, there we go. There and there, perfect. I should run the network analyzer out to see how much uh, these were making, uh, but they are making a minuscule amount, which we'll take for now. Uh, and was it in my belt? Yeah, it was. Let's take... Let's take 20. 
Alright, and that'll get my batteries back up. Uh, was this an... Oh, I think this is an iron wall. So I'd need iron sheets to, uh, to complete it. Ah, oh, so two of those. I think we'll go solar, or solar there, wind there. And we'll probably do it one more over so we can get a couple more winds, just in case. And, uh, we'll get our solar over here. So let's use up the rest of the fuel in our welding torch. Let's get these welded. There we go. And I have five more steel frames. Let's go. One, two, three. Oof, oof. Three, we'll go four and five. There we are. And then we have over here. Right here we can go the small oop, nope, turn off. The small solar or winds. Um that apparently I can't build on these roofs. Uh, but I'm sure I can on these ones where this destroyed. <laughs> oh, look how they massacred our boy. Yep. Uh, oh, right. These don't. Uh, these no longer serve a purpose. Haven't for a little while now. Go down. Deal with that later. Uh, wind, please. Probably do. Ah, dang it. Mm. Yeah. That's rough. Can I have a drill? If I put one here, can I then put one there? No. Okay, so it's only one per uh, one per square. I thought I think these ones are gonna do a whole heck of a lot. Uh, might as well wire them in anyways, though, right? There we go. There. Uh, where am I? There we are. There. Again, not that that's, uh, not that that's doing much. Hmm. Okay, so that doesn't solve a ton of our power woes. Or any, really, unless a storm is happening. Oh, nope, those are upright. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, so we have one regular solar panel. Ugh. I, uh, I guess this line here, I'll deal with the... Uh, with all the tracker stuff over there. And then over here will be the actual... Um, here, Stormy Stormy. <laughs> yeah. Here, Storm. Come on. I'm primed. Oop, I didn't even bring glass to put into this. Oh, well. But yeah, this little run right here, uh, why I left this, uh, I'll probably do um, the solar tracking and logic kind of in that area. <laughs> no storms. Yeah. Nope. Storms are now banned. Uh, the moment I need them, uh, they are uh, they're gone. I don't want to use up all this. We'll do another... Actually, we'll do the stack of 13. And that'll get uh, most of the way for those charged. Um, use the dual solar panel. Uh, it's easier to deal with. The Solar. Panel. Heavy panel. Uh, I can't do the heavies. That requires some stuff I can't make. Uh, solar panel's dual. 
Uh, uses, okay, so same solar panel kit. All right, I just have to, um, I'll go out there and take that down. Oh, right, no pressure in this room yet. <laughs> right, 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 right. We lost all that. Um, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me either. Either one works the same way in your brain. Ah, I don't. I don't know which which is which does what. Uh, they don't. Doesn't really have any bearing on, on uh, my knowledge base, obviously, because I know nothing. They call me John Snow. My oxygen seems to have slowed down a little bit again. Hmm. I'm happy it's uh happy it's going slower, but I'm upset that I don't know why. Okay, I need that's an art furnace, basic shoots stackers. I needed I needed glass sheets. The dual has logic um on one side and the power on the other. Um And the other, uh, the singular is both on the same wire. Oh, the one I put out was, had power out the back and then out the front. And by front, I mean the side facing towards base had logic. Uh, but we'll go out there and check it out. Uh, I need a few more anyhow. One is powered out of separate, one is powered out of connected. Um, they work functionally the same. The reason why is the glitch in the matrix. Oh, nope. I uh, didn't need that yet. Uh, hello? Solar? Yeah, solars. Panel heavy? Uh, what do I need for Astra Alloy? Because that's the only thing I'm short. And those would be exempt from damage from the storm. I mean, unless, you know, I, I go ahead and build a, uh, a glass dome around them. Uh, which I shouldn't have put that out there in hindsight until I was ready to do it all. Huh? How did I spell that? A S T R O, not Astra, Astro Alloy. Astro Alloy needs the advanced furnace. Okay, so I can't make it in the basic furnace. Uh, so once we solve the power stuff, let's then move on to. An advanced furnace, and then from the advanced furnace, we will be able to further do power stuff. I get no. Let's um, let's not. Let me let me quit trying to go better than my skill level will allow me, and let's do a uh, a glass house for the solar panels so they don't get taken out by um. Uh, so they don't get taken out by a storm. So let's do. Um, can't reinforce windows? No, I should just be able to do, um, steel or iron walls and lay like these. Those should work, right? Because these, the iron ones allow me to do, uh, growing of my potatoes. Uh, so yeah, let's do... Steel frames, then. I need steel. Where did I... Did I put any steel in here? Uh, I did. 200 grams of it. Perfect. Alright, if you could just start printing me out some steel frames. And then we'll do steel plates. Uh, Yeah. Iron takes damage, still doesn't. Yeah, so... Good good call. <laughs> good, good thing I'm going with steel, then. Um... Although I haven't seen any of those iron ones take any damage. Because this is... Yeah. That's an iron frame and all those are iron windows. And I haven't seen any damage on any of them. But uh, either way, we'll, we'll go steel because it's more efficient anyhow, resource-wise. Um, yeah. So we'll take a bunch of steel frames out there we'll build a glass box so I can have a probably I want to aim for about six solar panels so let's go ahead and turn on and do solar 
on this side. Solar kit, solar panels. Uh, we're not going to do the basic, or, yeah, not the basic or the heavy. But uh, we can do this. Um, still takes damage, just uh, way more to hurt them than iron. Ah, okay. So if I do this, this will give me another four. I've got one out there, so that'll be five total. And I'll just need a bit more copper to make the sixth. Uh, did I put any... Oh, copper. Got it. I uh, started with 200 grams. We're down to about 24. So we made 10, 12. That have been 13 just now. So we'll let that run until it spits out its first set of 50. Because, um, I mean, honestly, we're going to use them at some point. So... Take those iron sheets, flat iron walls, plastic sheets, iron walls. Wait, what? Iron wall kit. Kit wall flat. Yeah, there we go. Fix that. Oh, right. Uh, I probably should have shut that off earlier. Okay. Wonder if they fixed the infinite pressure glitch with steel frames, though. Ah, uh, I, I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the, the oxygen situation is a little more under control than it was previously. So, I'm happy with that. Uh, you used to have great fun <laughs> venting inside of a welded frame, then using unwelding um, to being shot to Pluto. Ooh, yeah. I can see how that would uh, that would work. Because it would technically be a welded frame is a, um, is a confined space. So before you weld it up, put your pipe in there with a vent or a, uh, a cowl, and then just keep pumping atmosphere in there and this would i guess never explode then if you're talking about infinite pressure then you could just stand on top grind it or unweld it and then get launched into space the game tracks gigapascals oh my god when would i ever need that much pressure in anything what am i trying to build a bomb It doesn't kill you, but it does launch you outside the world box. Oh, that's fun. All right, so that is, yep, four. We'll make a fifth, and that'll give me six solar panels. Because uh, I don't know how many solar panels it would be to overwhelm heavy cable, but I assume six plus two wind turbines even at full output capacity is hopefully not going to overwhelm heavy cables so oop, thank you uh you can stop now and then you can go to um yeah i'm gonna need glass sheets uh oh i need silicon Ooh, these only stack to 30 actually hmm Actually, let's not put that there because I'm going to forget it has pressure in it. Let's put that away. Put that away. Uh, 34 of these should be fine, though. Uh, but I will need more glass. Where did I put that? Did I put the silicon in here? Copper, iron, nickel, gold. <laughs> it makes a large boom. Uh, bing, bada, boom. Uh, Constantine. Where did I solder? I put... Nine grams of silicon is in here. That's not what I'm looking for. I thought I had more silicon kicking around. Yeah, no. I've got raw silicon we can process. Uh, but nine grams isn't going to give me enough to... Or is probably not going to give me enough. To build the full box that we want out there. 
But we'll see shortly. Won't we? Thank you. 19 windows. Yeah, if it doesn't, we'll uh, we'll fire the furnace back up and... Um, no, if it doesn't, we'll go out, get um, iron, coal, gold, more silver if we see it. Uh, and be able to make, you know, steel and the silicon. That way we can kind of multitask that. Um, did you finish? Yes, yes, you did. There we go. Now we have five of those. I have a bunch of these, some glass sheets. And let's just go ahead and turn these off because I don't know if I'm going to need uh, steel sheets or not for this uh, endeavor. So we'll wait until uh, until we do know. Cycle. Ah, yes. Out at last. Yeah, see this has uh, data on one side, power on the other. Let's pull it up, I guess. Oh, apparently these only stack to five. Um, oh, so I want to use... Oh, wait. So is power and... Oh, power and data is on this side. Okay. Um, so I probably want the one with power and data together. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about using up as much wire. So if I went one, two, three, by one, two, three? Are these too close? Uh, question, tracking how? Uh, answer, me not know. <laughs> uh, I haven't gotten that far yet, which is why my first thought was to go wind uh because i've started looking at um setting up for for tracking uh but i haven't got to the point of actually implementing any of the stuff yet uh so i've only briefly briefly observed it so i know i need something like a couple of logic chips i need a uh sensor kit for a light sensor um, I need a processor, I need a reader, I need a batch writer, because I'm sending it to multiple of these, and then I need some other things. But that's about as much as I know. Um, let's see if there's any solar angle. Yeah, there's nothing in here that alludes to... Hunger, oh, hunger. That doesn't look like it really alludes to... Um, Uh, to solar tracking, like guides, um, smelting, temperature, thirst, weather, growing food, EAVA suits. Um, so you're going to chip it then? Uh, probably, uh, but I haven't really looked into the other side of the things. Um, I've glanced over and started taking a look at uh, what you had sent me, Cass, uh, for writing in MIPS, uh, but I haven't got to... Um, haven't had the opportunity to do any um, any play with it, so I haven't really tested much of it. Uh, but I have taken a look at uh, at it and have a rough, and I say rough very liberally um, or conservatively, uh, <laughs> grasp of how MIPS works. So, uh, but for now, it's I'll at least get some power if I just weld them up as flat, I guess. Or, you know, throw in the things and then get cables going. Uh, so if I get cables going and they're flat, I'll at least get a portion of the power throughout the day. It won't be max efficiency, but I'll at least have enough, have some power coming in. And some power coming in is better than no power coming in. So let me, ooh, oh, there's a ramp. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no. I meant to do walls, not frames. Hmm. Uh, well, that's that's a little upsetting. I meant to do walls, not frames. Oh, well. 
Um, I guess I can lay some going out to uh, what will eventually be the um, the greenhouse that way. So lay those down. I'll keep the other thirty on me though. <clears throat> Let's see. One battery is about down. All right, the other ones should be fine for a while. Let's go back in, cancel the pressurization uh, because there's not enough atmo in here to really do that. Um, well, there's not enough atmosphere in here, period, to get it up to pressure. Uh, okay, so I needed... I, I made the wrong thing. We need... Um, kit wall... I just need kit wall, isn't it? Um, kit wall. Panel, arrow, plating, uh, small hole hatch, arrow, mono, two tones, round thing, squares. Panels open, flat. Okay, so no, it's not these. I need, there's iron walls, uh, plastic sheets, uh, kit wall, if you want windows. Okay. Um, yeah, because I want, we need to do a window housing for the solar so a storm doesn't damage them. Um, kit, nope, uh, just type in wall, it's fine. Uh, kit wall, here we go. I do not want 132, but uh, I'll wait till it spits out one, and then we'll stop it, because it stacks up to 50. Oh, uh, probably turn that on as well. <laughs> uh, close that. Uh, what is over here? I can't make any of the hard stuff, because I don't have that asher or something. Uh, it has the composite windows. Uh, looks like the padded ones you use, uh, but less ugly. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Hydration. Um, right. Well, that deals with that. Let's go, um... Let's go hydrate. Hydrate! Yeah, let's hydrate and let's, uh... Let's eat as well, looking at my food. Mm, yeah, that does go... Moderately quicker. Not, uh, not overly so, though. Huh? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, right. I forgot, because that linked into the other side of thing. Uh-oh. All right, so I guess we're just drinking. Um, because I've disconnected this room from the actual power, so I need to bring that back up and over. To tie into power. I forgot. Hmm. We'll see if the world has fixed itself yet. Um, nope, it hasn't. Uh, still huffing O2 in there. Am I? Oh, God. Uh, hold on, my helmet's open. Yeah, no. Still huffing O2 quickly. And my pressure is still sitting at 93 when my target is 101. I don't know why it's not trying to force more pressure into my suit. Hmm. Uh, but let's go ahead and open our canister. Just to have that CO2 in here. And let this run for a little bit. Oh, wait. You're not running, right? Because uh, the power is uh, is stuffed in here. Time for new base. <laughs> uh, well, time for a new segment of the base, which will be the greenhouse, which will actually get me all my O2. Yeah, and I can't eat that. So, back out of here we go. Uh, cancel the pressurization. Suit back. Yeah. Might need to look at the files. Uh, <laughs> let this run for a bit. <laughs> As he flips through, no power. Yeah. I, I forgot. I literally just said, oh, wait. Because this was the power line that was feeding that. And, uh, yeah. Completely forgot about that. So. 
Here I go trying to fix things again. Let's do that, and let's go outside and uh, fix power to that room. And eventually I will rip that out entirely, all that wiring, once we have a proper greenhouse and things, and then um, and then make it, you know, pretty. And a, in a, ah, oh God. Dang it. <laughs> Why have I forsaken myself? I hate me, I hate me, I hate me. Probably easier if I just move that, but uh, I'm committed to doing dumb things. So here I go doing dumb things again. One of these days, I'll learn. Or I'll just, you know, allow the information to keep going in my brain and then just not actually internalize it. And then y'all can all go crazy watching me make the same dumb mistakes over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, that sounds fun, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to move this because I don't like where it sits anyhow. Also, where did I put one of my tools? Is it in my bag? It is. It is in my bag. And there. Ha 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 ha. Things are working. All right. You run for, for a minute. Give me that. Oh, that was like, uh, why did that not give me that? Mm. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. Give me this. Oh, food. Call it endless entertainment. <laughs> Don't make me crazy. <laughs> Grabs popcorn. Yeah. There we are. Uh, might as well cook another potato. Apparently I already need another shower. Ding. Ding. Fries are done. Ding. Uh, I can't. I can only eat in here anyway, so I'm going to leave that. Leave that. Actually, I'm going to be annoyed that that's on the floor. Put it there. There. Now it's all, uh, now it's all done. Them's a tater. <laughs> Potato, what's that? Right, there's a tater, friend. What's a potato? Uh, oh, ooh, um, I probably made a lot more things than I needed to, didn't I? Cancel the pressurization. Let me out. You at some point just stopped for some reason. Uh, it made 50 and then stopped, even though it had the materials to keep going. And I did nothing to interrupt power to you. <laughs> Remember to his friend stuff? Yeah. Why did this stop on its own? I mean, I'm glad it did, but, uh, me is confused. Definitely time for a cold one. Thank you again, Bard. Thanks for another five. You the man. Um, yeah, let's build this. Uh, let's build this room. Uh, composite window. Um, hmm. Will this interfere with anything if I butt them up like this? Um.
you added to the power line. <laughs> I've added to a lot of things, thank you. Uh, does this interfere if I place these like this? I certainly hope not. Um, let's put a bunch of composite windows. We're just going to make a... I don't know why I just pressed that button. Greenhouse power is the same as that workshop runs on. Oh, it is. Yeah, they're no longer separate now, aren't they? Right. Uh, that sh shouldn't... Uh, can, nope, can place like that? All right, cool. Uh, it shouldn't cause me any major issues. Um, oh, gosh dang it. I swear to you, I'll weld these up one day. Oop, no, that's a little too high. The name of being frame efficient. Let's do it like that. There. And there. Uh, I advise against stepping between the wall and the panels, though. What do you mean? Like through here? Like this? Oh, I could probably get wedged and damage my suit. Yeah, that might be um that might be an unfortunate thing. There we go. There we go. And there. All right, cool. Uh, so that's good for though. Ooh, I meant to grab more heavy cable as well because that's what I want for all my power uh production stuff is heavy cable on this side of the on this side of the thing mm. uh, you're gonna need an airlock uh, to get in there into the vent by the way huh squish yes much squish you're going to need an airlock uh, to get in there. Will I need an airlock? I figured once we get the um, these six panels done, I was just going to seal it off until I needed to go in there again and then just rip out one of the walls to walk into here. Yeah, because I don't need this to be a... Um, I don't need this to be readily accessible. Uh, at least I don't think I do. Uh, because I should be able to, once I do the tracking stuff here, just tie into one line. And won't that allow me to... Uh, the sun heats Atma? Oh, yeah. So this will, over time, granted a, a very long period of time, uh, we'll get to a point where it's uh, too hot. Uh, and could potentially, you know... Uh, well, we'll eventually get to a temperature where these panels won't be able to uh, deal with the heat. Oh, uh-oh. These ones need to get set back uh, because I can't put cables between them. Or at least I can't put these? Uh, whoops. Uh, give me these. I want to test that again. Ooh, yeah, I need, uh... Oh, no, I need more coil... Oh, I'm just out of cable. Okay, I just don't have enough cable on me. If I read what the descriptor says. It takes six months in games, uh, but will eventually get too hot and cause issues. Yeah. Uh, but if we can, yeah, like you're saying, if I can mitigate that issue now, uh, I might as well. Yeah, so, I'll make a... I'll make a single door. Yo, we'll make a door and replace one of those things, and I need more cables. Cancel pressurization. All right, so power you on. How are you on? I think I make doors in here. Uh, kit door, yes, please. Uh, iron and copper. Um, 
great. I think everything's inside of somewhere else. Um, how much iron did I need? Is it worth pulling that iron? I needed seven grams of iron. Son of a... Oh, these are 250s. All right. And then copper. I do have copper in here. Yes. So please dump me your contents. Can you... Ooh, no. No. Uh, coil cable heavy. There you go. Make me that. Uh, that'll give me a fair amount. Copper. Internal door might work. Um, I actually don't know if those count as room divider, uh, or not. Um... I would imagine they would divide rooms, um, but yeah, let's let's make one and find out. Door, interior door. Let's try one of these, and then we want a regular door kit. Yeah, let's uh, let's give it the old college try, shall we? I'm paranoid. My bases are all divided by airlocks. That's so silly. Uh, yeah, that that uh, you know be nice so there's the interior door we'll try that one out we'll also try out the other one uh i'll keep all this other stuff on me interior doors have one the glass still i don't need the steel frames that are on me though so let's put those away I'm still carrying this other tank full of gas let that keep running Crap, I made two doors. Yeah, whatever. We'll uh we'll find a use for the other door when we get the um get the greenhouse out that way set up. Dump me what you got. 23. Well gosh dang it. Yeah, you can burn through the rest of that. I will 100 percent use that much heavy cable. So, well that makes that up. Let's go uh let's go test out some doors, shall we? Um, ooh, crap, I actually should have brought a frame out here to put right here for the door. Um. Actually, or if I move these back a panel, which means I need, ooh, I have still sheets on me still. There we go. Yeah, let's move um let's move these other boys this row back. Just to give us a little bit of uh room and separation. There we go. One a two a three. Uh you might need to weld uh the frames as well. Do ooh, these outside ones I will, yeah. Uh, this singular frame right here, I shouldn't need to weld. Uh, but yeah, all the ones outside, I'll probably have to weld them. Or I will have to weld them, rather. One, two, three. To, to make this room an airtight entity. Stupid. Oh, you were talking about... Oh, okay. Oh, no. Yeah, you were talking about to be able to put these down, then. Oh, if you're talking about a chat delay, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like that YouTube does a, like, a native, like, 20-plus second chat delay. It's, it's very, very dumb. Um, that also means I don't need this right here. All right, put that there. All right, glass. Two and three. Let's put this glass there for now. And let's start with getting the cables laid in. Three, there we go. I'll follow this run down to join up with this. Mm 
<laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't uh, point out the letter ice deposit. Just kept running. Yeah, that's uh, it does make for a less enjoyable experience, I think. Uh, and I, it's actually a good point. I should really figure out what was going on with um, restream and why I was dropping so many frames with it and having a lot of quality drops. Uh, go figure out why those were, uh, those were happening. Big glass door. Does it look like that's upside down? Triangles. Thin triangle. Got it. Padded glass. Padded thin. Hmm. Does it matter? Let's just put that in. Alright, what do I need for that? Uh, I need two glass sheets. Oh, goody. I'm gonna need to actually... Uh, so if I go in here, I should be able to now see if this counts as a room. Room! Yay! It counts as a room! It's a very... Holy room, but, uh, a room nonetheless. Yeah. All right, so, it also gives me... Uh, what do I need uh, to put these in here? Uh, plastic sheet. Oh, no, I need plastic sheets. Uh-oh, okay. Um, let's go grab us some plastic sheets, then, shall we? Uh, plastic sheets. Pl 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 plastic sheets. Give me all them. Plastic sheets. Iron sheets. Plastic sheets. Yay! Uh, I am gonna have to. Uh, composite window is plastic plus glass. Yes. Yes. Uh, I will have to at some point go and make. Probably process up that silicon so I can make glass. But for now, it'll be alright. These have a pretty and an ugly side? Ooh, they do. Uh, eh, the white sides can be inside. That's fine. And we'll leave the gray on the outside. Either way, it looks very Spartan. Stop it. Hurts my eyes. And oop, one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need more glass. 11 glass for 18 windows. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all right. We'll make it. Don't you worry. You say like that like it's an issue. All right. So we'll go out in the morning then and get um get some stuff to make up a bit more steel as well as just you know some of the the more. I hesitate to say exotic, but the more uh. Less frequently used. Uh, oh, sorry, 20 windows. Yeah. Quick moths. Hoo-ha! Yeah, but the less commonly used um, things. Oh, you... I'm going to go back and... Um, we're going to try and weld up the rest of that floor that I forgot about. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's all she wrote for that gas canister. <coughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, well. Cancel pressurization. Oh, that's, uh, oh, that, that was good. 
Uh, arc. Arc welder needs. Uh, oh, do I not have Invar? I don't think I do. Uh, steel, solid, or Electrum. We have the Electrum. The Invar, I don't think I have. Um, solder. Iron, nickel. Uh, wanted to see him trying to figure out how many plates we're going to get eaten by the next storm. Yeah. It's fine. It's what we make duct tape for. No, I don't have any. No. All right, what do I need for Invar? We can make in the tier one furnace, 1.21 kilopascals, 18 to 20 me Ooh, that's a tight window for making Invar. Plus it, I think that's close to the upper limit of the furnace, if I'm not wrong. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's, uh, oof, oof. Uh, before we do that, I will definitely pipe the, uh, or fix the piping on this. That way I have the, the controls for the off-gassing right here. Hmm, is this tough tier one alloy? Yeah. Uh, great. Or I could try high pressure, high heat, yeah. I could go for the Envar for the arc welder, which means I wouldn't have to worry about gassing this welding torch up anymore. Um, or we could set up a separate tank and process um, process volatiles and oxide. Uh, I don't know what ratio the welding torch needs in, though. Uh welding torch needs a gas canister but what ratio does the gas need to be in because it's going to need oxygen and it's going to need uh volatiles so basically hydrogen um or if i could get nos we could burn nos inside of it as well uh but i think our easiest option is volatiles and oxygen and i would assume Two volatiles to one oxygen, I would assume, is the mix I would need. Hmm. But uh, we can go for uh, explosion number two in the base. And uh, let's just, um, yeah, let's just use the, uh, let's go for Invar. Because I need Invar anyways. Um, so some spare pipes, please. Uh, put some sheets over here. I don't need any more wall kits. Isn't it volatiles? Um, just volatiles? Uh, I mean, volatiles would give me the... Uh, yeah, so uh, it's two to one ratio. Yeah, so same for the furnace. Um, but volatiles wouldn't give me anything to support the combustion for... Uh, for the hydrogen in the volatiles. I'd need oxygen to be able to do that as well. Uh, Mars doesn't have enough natively in the um, in the atmosphere. So if you think a oxygen acetylene torch, um, cutting torch, uh, that would be kind of what we're looking at here for my welding torch. Uh, so I still need the oxygen to help support the... Oh, I didn't set this up. Oh, wait, no, yeah, I did. I just didn't pull off the chip. Go back up there. Uh, but let's fix the, the piping real quick. Just use thermite. Pray tell, bard. Where might I procure some thermite? Ah, yes. The local artificer. Sir, might I trouble you for some of your finest thermite this day? <laughs> let's take that. Nope, nope. I meant to take you off. And you off. Ooh, no, I can't. Uh... Hydration critical. Hydration critical. 
wave down a trader and ask for one? Wait, there's traders in this? I can call a trader? I didn't know there were traders in here. Oh, God dang it. Uh, just put those on the ground. It's fine. All right. Hopefully, I can see that on the inside. Um, who knows if I actually can, uh, but I'll tell you in a second. See if that uh, see if that works or if I need to uh, scooch that in further. Which is why, by the way, uh, your room exploded earlier. Um, and in a little O2, it's a big... Yeah, that is uh, that is why the uh, the room went up. And, ah, yes, I can. Uh, I wonder if that'll bleed any heat through here. And if so, how much would it do? Hmm. No. Let's, uh, let's deal with the, the suit yelling at me first. And go have a drink. While we, uh, we probably blow ourselves up. Uh, also, I should probably make sure... I think it's just nickel and iron for, um... What was it? Invar I needed? Was tier 1, a 1 to 1 ratio of nickel to iron. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're getting a drink. Taking a swig. Throwing it back, as it were. Let's eat, and then we'll close our helmet. Close that. Put our potato there. All right, let's uh, let's check on the atmosphere in here. And in here, okay, so that's gone up a bit, so we're happy there. Uh, insulated pipes are your friends. Uh, yes, it will bleed heat. Ah, okay, so. Wait, is there a... Uh, we'll go out and check it. Um, but if it bleeds heat, the following question would be... But also be... Oh, no, I put away my golden torch. Never mind. Um, the question is, is there a... Um, typical temperature controlled or a insulated... Um, uh, what you call it? This game gets weird with... Uh, Uninsulated pipes uh, and walls. Connect them. Hmm. Yeah. Is there a insulated uh, pipe valve? Is the question. Um, insulated. Yeah, insulated pipes, but there's no insulated valve. I I don't see. A uh, valve one way. I don't. I don't care if it's a one way thing. Uh, the valve won't bleed. Just the pipes. Okay, so I need to replace the pipes that are in contact with the wall because they'll bleed temperature into here. Which actually, mm, no, nah, yeah, that would be a bad thing. I was gonna say it wouldn't be a bad thing right now at six degrees. Uh, but yeah, I should probably do insulated pipes. I'm going to need uh steel and son of a. I don't. I have one silicon, and these require one silicon. I can only do one. Hmm. Uh, so maybe I don't do that for now. We work on getting our invar. And actually, uh, I shouldn't even have this as a proper room yet, I don't think. Uh, let me do... Uh, let me take the chip, and let's just keep this airlock open for now, and then we won't worry about that for now. That way I don't need to deal with pressing the silicon and then making the insulated pipes and then changing them all out. Um, let's just do this and just have this its own area, and it'll be fine for now. Uh, that way I don't need to worry about that heat bleeding for, for the moment. I don't need to worry about it. Uh, and actually, while it's daytime, I do also want to go out before anything else happens. Uh, I want to go out and, um, and do a bit of mining. 
just just nearby an eye shot of this. I know that doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot when I, I go gallivanting out and then it gets dark and then I can't see anything. But, uh, yeah. What's for dinner? Taters. And taters are for dinner. Oh, grab extra copper. Still a room, but it uh, will vent pressure uh, as it heats out the open. So that'll fix it. Yeah, it'll be fine. Grab some extra oxides, which I don't, I shouldn't need, but uh, it's always better to have, you know, the spares on hand. Just for now. That's all I should need for those. Uh, just nearby an eye shot. Uh, I predict this issue in the future. Eh. Yeah, I have a bunch of silicon in the in the cabinets. Wouldn't hurt to grab more, but uh, I want uh, I want coal. I'm gonna prioritize it over the um, over the silicon. Try and keep my eye on the sun. Try and keep my eye on the sun as I dig into the depths of Mars. Yeah, that's uh, that's how that works, Rudy. I foresee no issues with this plan. Issues? Why would there be issues? Air tank low. Air tank low. Uh, there's also that. Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, this would be the first time I had an air tank low when it happened, though. As I huffed my way through all of the oxygen in existence. Actually, I'm going to toss half of this 12 into uh, the uh, the solid generator there just to, you know, get ourselves a little extra power because I'm, uh, yep, down to my last station battery. Cycle here. Do you learn how to find ores in the ground yet? Uh, or just digs around? Uh, I just dig around right now. I haven't made the uh, the glasses, so I just dig around for the moment. Thank you. Uh oh, my potato blew off. Mmm, taters. All right, so this is already filled. I can just go ahead and close this. Swap out my tanks. Let's go ahead and turn this on for a minute. Push some pressure straight into this bad boy. Could likely speed this up a little. Don't need the glasses uh, to check in the immediate spot. Oh, do I not? Oh, then I don't know. No. 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 I do not. I do not. Uh, I do not know. 4K. At 5K, we'll hit the button. 8, 9. All right. There we go. Yeah. It's getting slower. So uh, we're running out. Uh, actually, we have, uh, we have a little bit. We have another, you know, few tanks to get refilled. Be nice. Mm. Let's turn this on. We'll let this run because it's, it's very slow. Uh, so I have a very, very long time. Plus, I think if even if I pulled all the O2 out of this room, it's not going to blow that. I don't think. Uh, when you waggle around, you aim. Uh, you don't see the text fly. Oh, okay. Ah, you see. I've seen those before as I'm moving around. I've seen the text pop up. Hmm. I see. All right. So that'll do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this canister. Uh, it's at 102 in here. These are already at seed. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and harvest. Harvest. 
two, one, a two, a one, and a two. And we'll replant with these. And put those there. Damage is at 39%. Okay, so those are just decaying over time. But that's, that is okay for now. Uh, it's not the end of the world. All right, so var let's have this up just so i'm ready with it so iron and nickel oh cancel that i have next to the iron vein yeah 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 all right so i had that's 14 there's a there was a set of 50 nickels somewhere ah in here okay um I need to purge you, please. Constantine, Electrum. Lead, lead. Oh, nickel. All right. No, I needed the nickel on me. So it's one to one, so I need 50 nickel, 50 iron. Uh, that's four iron ore right there. Mm. Someone's got 50 iron, 31. I could stack these and fix that. Steel, steel, steel. Lead and lead. Iron, 50 grams. Here we go. So that'll be 50-50 there for... And great, I can't put it in that slot. Give me my bag. Don't need the tool belt. And in fact, we'll put away some of this stuff off me. There we go. Heavy coil. Grab that. Alright, so I'll have the nickel and the iron ready to go. Yep, iron and nickel. Perfect. So, 1.22 kilo. 1.2 kilokelvin to 1.5 kilokelvin. Ooh, yeah, these are tight margins. So we'll slowly start adding. And thankfully, it's uh, it's now cool. Uh, it's cool enough that my ices will not sublimate into a gas. So let's start with four of that, two of that, mm -mm -mm -mm. yep, it's the hardest tier one alloy, yeah, there we go, activate that, ah, I'm going to keep doing this to remind myself. 18 to 20 megapascals, 1.2 to 1.5 temp of kilokelvin. Yeah, I'm already over on temp, but I need the pressure to go up. Um, the tight ranges, unlike Invar, Solder, high pressure, temp, all of them in the furnace, uh, have no control over temp and pressure with. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, I saw the advanced one did have uh, controls on it or something that allowed me to do so. Pressure in... Temp, I'm just going to have to probably burn through my, uh, maybe the silicon I can burn through. Uh, but I need more pressure. Which another two and another four. And we'll just slowly keep adding. Er, Constantin, not Invar. Are, are, you, are you sure? You know, I don't even remember. Oh, no, I needed it for the, for this, for this, for this. For a uh, arc welder, I need Invar. Yeah, no, I need Invar. Yeah. Yep. Smelt the crap out of uh, any ores you get. Yeah, that's, uh, so I've got some gold. I've got a little bit of iron, not a ton. Uh, I've got silicon. Yeah, so. Once we get to pressure range, we'll start bringing temperature down. Um, pressure's at 10.4. Let's do another two oxide and 
four volatiles. That'll shoot the pressure up probably another five or six is looking about what it goes up. Uh, no, you need Invar. I mean, oh, you mean unlike Constant. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you. So I'll do another one one, it seems. One and two, I meant. Not one and one. There we go. 17... 17, 18, okay, cool. Now I just need to bring temperature down. Let's go 50-50. Let's see if we can do our... Uh, yep, ingots of silicon. All right. Uh, actually, I probably could have done those together. Uh, I needed silicon over here anyways. All right, 1.74, 19 megapascals. Do not blow up. Gold, a uh, singular silicon. I probably just leave that open to run these through. Uh, doesn't cobalt increase pressure when you smelt it? Oof. Let me not put that in there then. 1.58. 1. Point, I think it was 1.5 to 1.5 kilokelvin. Yeah, is the temperature I need. So I just need a bit more. Um, I have iron. And I have copper in my bag. So let's do let's do a stack of 30 copper. There we go. And now I should be good to go here and here. Oop, close that. That's iron. And this is going to be... 50... Oh, no, it's not... Oh, no, the pressure dropped just... Throw a volatile. Can that get me my pressure back? Yes, there we go, Invar. We did it, baby! Get rid of that pressure. Woo. We did it. Da, 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 da. Oh, we did it. We freaking did it. There's one silver for the road. I don't know where that silver rolled to, but I do not care. Get that pressure down. All right, close that. Uh, I don't have basically anything left to smelt up. Okay. But we did it. Uh, 20 minutes. Oh, it won't blow it. Oh, I thought 20 was uh, close to its limit. That's why I was uh, I was so concerned with that. When, oop, crap, there was silver in there. Whoops. Ah, crap. Ah, uh, now I need a centrifuge to separate those out. Whoops. Ah. He's really gonna like... What? No, I don't know. Why are things so hard to make? Oh, take my Invar. Whoops. No, put my Invar back in there. Uh, steel electrum solder. Uh, solder. Iron. Constantan electrum. Uh, and then steel. Huzzah, huzzah. Arc welder. Alright, uh, let's do a... Whoops. I meant to go... Let's do some of these large batteries. Uh, gold, copper, steel. Steel. Copper. I think I put that gold in somewhere else. 
Uh, eh, here's some gold. There we go. At least you find the silver. <laughs> yeah. There's that. At least I do find that. Uh, this will give me... I could do eight batteries. Let's keep a kind of an eye on that. And shut you off. There we go. I've got our new welder. It's uh, lead, silver, nickel, 400 to 800 Kelvin. Low temp, high pressure. Holy Toledo. Um, close that. Give me this. Oh, I don't need to put that in here. I need to grab that. I wanted to make spare batteries for all these. Oh, I had plenty. And we'll make this the last one when it makes. There we are. Yeah, day 47 without dying. Yes. The bangs and clangs and groans of the pipe as the furnace roars loudly. You can't hear anything else. Ooh. That's um that's a high high stress situation. Go ahead and turn all that off. Uh, turn you off. You're probably just burning through a minuscule amount of power at all times, as are you guys. Uh, and still no solar power. That's a lie. We have solar power. We just don't have an enclosed room for the solar. Also, did I just put all my silicon in here? I did. Give me that. I needed that for glass. Uh, glass sheets. Yeah, that can all get made into glass. That's fine. Uh, the pucker factor is easy to 10. Oof. It's not even hooked up. Uh, yeah, it's not hooked up. So I guess, I guess you're right there. But, I mean, there's, you know, there's... There's 100%. Yeah, turn all that into glass. There are 100% solar panels over there. They're generating power. I'm just not collecting that power. That's um, that's what's going on here. Ah, uh, let's see. Give me this. Twelve glass sheets. Um, open up my backpack. I'd have places to put those, wouldn't I? Close that. Yeah, probably close that as well. Unlimited power. Look at those tur. Yeah, they are lightning. Fast. Oh, wait, you know what we should do? Do I actually... Oh, wait, no, I think it blew away, didn't it? Um, oh, there's a chip in there. Uh, I think the network analyzer blew away with the pod, uh, but I think it can be used... Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, but be looked to use if I'm generating... Or what kind of power I'm generating from where. Uh, solar conduit. Network analyzer. Yes, give me that. That goes on my tablet. Meh. Meh. Need a shower. Ooh. I uh, probably could have had a drink of water while I was in there, but oh well. Uh, that is correct. Yes. Yay, I learned a thing. Extra glass. Alright, uh, oh, just go out this way. The door's already open. It's fine. Until I get into a situation where I can pressurize that again. Or I want to pressurize that again. Mm -mm. Alright, uh, oh, son of a... I left the still sheets I need in there. If only there was a printer that could print, uh, electronic components to replace the thing. Yeah, that'd be great. They should really put that in the game. I think they would. Uh, I think they would really benefit from having one of those, don't y'all? I. Uh, I think that could be a really fun thing to use. <laughs> yeah, the whole reason I made the the welder was so I could weld still sheets. But uh. Oop. Hey. There we go. 
go. All right. Um, where was my ah, here we go tool belt? Go to your new home, friend. Also, those. If I get my suit out, I can have this. Swap out the Atmos for the network. And before I connect it up to the network, let's take a look. So these aren't general. Uh, it's probably where the sun is. Uh, but solar panels are generating nothing right now. Why is that? Are you guys not done being built for some reason or somehow? Crowbar to deconstruct. No, you're... Oh, no, it says generating 150. Is this because it's not hooked up to a thing? Generating 151 watts. Because it tells me that they're there, but... I guess because nothing's trying to draw their power? Potential... Yeah, it doesn't tell me which each individual one's making, which is kind of what I, I'd hoped. Yeah. They are generating. Yeah, I see the I see the potential at uh, 1.02 kilowatts and slowly rising, or at least it was. But I thought it would read me out each individual one. Hmm. Yep, no load. Okay, so that's why it's not telling me that side of things. Uh, but that's okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get the rest of our room connected up and yeah we haven't had a single storm i i don't i haven't noticed this entire stream and by this time last stream we'd had like five of the things and yeah everything's uh all made up now look at that all right let's go and get this tied in sorry i'm disorganized again uh so that already comes down to here power critical oh critical Ooh, down to 10 percent uh, maybe we won't have that light on uh okay so that's apparently too close to that There we go. Uh, now let's take a look at it, shall we? Yeah, look at that. Wind turbine upright. Uh, it doesn't tell me what each individual one is creating, apparently. Uh, but it does tell me the actual and the potential. 13 devices. 13. Uh, oh, it's counting the upright one. It's counting the station batteries as devices. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I can be happy with that. One sec, I'll turn my solar power back on. Yeah, 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 just just hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. We're getting there. Uh, my mining belt, I do have a little bit of this. Just to give me, hopefully, one of our, our, our last few boosts. Oh, now hydration is critical. All right, let's go deal with our uh, with our errors, our power, and our um, our lovely uh, hydration. We need. Thank you. Is this thing dead? It is dead. Okay, hold on. That's why we made all these spare batteries. There we go. All right, and hydration now. Time for solar tracking? Yes. Time to start getting things together for solar tracking. And watch the great matter turn to goo. Yep, it's uh, going to be brain-meltingly fun. Yeah. Uh, put, uh, put these in there for now. Open up. Have a drink. Thank you. Probably should take a shower as well. I don't know how much that truly matters. Oop, hold on. I have a network analyzer in. Uh, bag, please. Tablets. Atmos analyzer. Would be lovely to have. 1.3. Yeah, it's slowly going up. Uh, Real man solar tracker with MIPS. <laughs> 
I already gave you a list for so. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Uh, I appreciate that. I'll have to scroll up and uh, and grab that. Uh, so start making the components. Uh, but yeah, I haven't got to the point where I'm I'm comfortable enough using MIPS. Uh, and at some point, I'll just have to you know make that leap of faith. Uh, but I'm not there yet. Uh, we're fine there, fine there. You're slowly pulling the O2 out. Uh, I could expand this to make that a little quicker. Um, actually, no, I can't. I don't have the things on me to do that. So I'm not going to do that. You can just... Oop, helmet. You can just continue to slowly do your things. Mips. <laughs> Simps. Need old school. This is old school, not preschool. Uh, let's put away these eight extras. If I do, if I do, I do, I do, I do, I do these. Um, let's put these in here. I, I, at some point, I'm I'm gonna have to go through here and organize. This is this is god awful. Uh, but let's go. here. Here, do I, is this all I need? Um, I shouldn't need these extra pipes, but we'll see. Uh, let's go. Uh, Relist. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for dropping that again. I appreciate that. Less scrolling for me to have to go through. Uh, throw it all into a vending machine. Can make a vending machine. Turn that off. Give me my tool belt. Put that. Give me. No, I say give me. Put that there. Now, question is, can this be connected direct up to? Ooh, it can. So if I do the duels, and then we just do a cow on the end of that will that work uh, apparently not uh blocked by cable corner Ooh. all right um this should be fine though right yeah there we go and then i'll just have to walk over this this cow every time all right how much quicker do you do you now process things if I add extra volume to the intake side of things. Uh, 61.1 moles. Mm. Would this speed up quicker in processing if I, say, put a second O2 filter in here? Would that process any quicker and dump it into here? And actually, because I don't like this being in a walkway, I'm going to take this, turn it up, take this, and put it there. Oh, hey, wait, that's now flowing. I guess it was partially blocked. Oh, yeah, no, that's going way quicker. Uh, second filter doesn't matter. Uh, the slowness is from the pipe length and volume. Uh, apparently, it was also because now we see the movement that it was partially buried into the floor. It was apparently also a problem. Hmm. Yeah, now it's... uh. You fix intake... Uh, but output is still stumpy. Yeah, I figured because it is still a quick, well, the filtered and then the output here, I guess, the unfiltered still stumps its uh, processing speed. But at this rate for how little actual volume is in here, I think that's fine. Ooh, crap, pressure, pressure, pressure. Uh, pressure is getting a little low for the potatoes. So let's, Open our waste tank and give it a little bit more um, CO2 back. There we go. All right, that's off. There we go. 
uh, if you're going to put it on the floor, um, use a passive vent. Ah, okay, well, upturning it seemed to help. So I'm happy with uh, that there. Oh, wait, there wasn't any pollutant or anything in here, was there? No, perfect. I'm happy with that. Uh, but yeah, that sitting like that is just fine for me. Does mean we have uh, we have better. Yeah, but anytime I'm in this room, like look how quickly I, I burn through my O2 while I'm in this room. He'll eventually blow up the uh, the output pipe since that cow is on the floor too. Oh yeah, eventually that would happen. But I mean, wouldn't that just turn the blown the blown pipe into basically like a passive vent or cow itself? Because if blowing a pipe gets rid of its pressure, but you don't take it out of the the piping line will pressure still try to pass into it and then escape out of it. Is that how that would work? At least that's how it would work in real life. Um, so I hope that's how it works in game. But uh, yeah, at some point I'll uh, actually since I'm here. Might as well upturn it. Like that. There you go. <laughs> I got a bunch of. Um, I'm just excited to see y'all. What can I say? But it's so tacky. <laughs> Look, I didn't survive the day 47 worrying about tackiness. <laughs> uh, and pipes get weird. Yeah, everything gets weird in this game. Come on. You're not fooling me with that. gutter time <laughs> okay ah beautiful 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 all right so uh probably should have ate while i was in there all right what's uh next up on our task is to start making all of the other things let's turn this off for now go to the electronics printer and cas is relisted so i need a oh wait hold on before i do that I think I had a spare sensor kit I made already. Yeah, I have two sensor kits, so I don't need another sensor kit. I need uh, two memories, two logic readers, a batch writer. Um, uh, do I need a logic... You said a logic memory. I need one of. No, kit sensor... No, I need two memories. No, I need one memory. Hey, you said one memory. Um, uh, what's the batch writer wrapped up under? I need uh, logic readers. Logic, uh, oof. Logic I.O., logic memory, logic processor. All right, it's going to be wrapped up under one of these. Uh, one memory, but uh, extra won't kill you. Yeah, I'll eventually use things like that. Um, hmm. So this is kit. So this is going to be a set of things. So is the memory. Uh, oop, turn this on. Dispense that out. What is in this? We have a memory hash generator. So this is memory and hash generators. Put this here. Let's put away some of this stuff so I have room. I can go there. I can go there. Network analyzer can go there. All right, so I have... Oop, all right, these doors I don't need on me. Doors. Let's take our sensor kits, our memory. Uh, logic processor is the math unit. Okay, cool. So that'll give us that. Uh, oh, yeah, F1 would tell me what everything's uh, wrapped up under, wouldn't it? Um, logic. What do you say? Processor? Uh, logic processor. No, kit logic processor was the other thing. Um, reader writers under logic IO, you think? 
Uh, yeah, let's look for uh, Logic Writer. Uh, I'll send you to Batch Writer. Uh, so it was under Logic IO. Yes. Uh, you're asking a lot of my brain here. Ah, that's all right. Just don't worry about it. I'll, I'll look it up in the F1. Um, Logic IO, that's what it's there for. Uh, let's get two of these bad boys. One. Making the second. Okay, so... Can you please dispense that? Thank you. Alright, so I have two Logic IOs. A logic Processor. A memory, uh, our sensor. Uh, so the processor was the math unit. The um, memory is the memory unit we need. Um, need oh the other ones are wrapped under logic I/O as well. Okay, so I need I need four logic I/Os then. So let's make another two of those. I was about to go search for the last one we needed. So this should be most of it. I may need chips or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Give me that. Those. Give me those. Uh, a labor, a labeler with a battery. What's a labeler? They have one of those mythical things? What does this thing do? 38%? Mm. Might as well, since I'm here, swap this out. Uh, I don't like, there's a door that's open, Grady. Just use that one. TV stated a whole lot of heavy cable. Yeah, I got a set of 50 on me. Uh, and we'll start with that. Ooh, probably grab some steel plates so I can weld up those uh, those things. Uh, where did I put those steel plates? Iron sheets, steel sheets. Here we go. Yeah, I grab a our brand new arc welder. Yeah, weld these up and see what kind of space I need. Whoa! Hey, <laughs> that storm we were talking about finally came. Ooh, look at those bad boys go. Should have kept my network analyzer on me. See how much they're creating. Buddy. Look at those turbines spin. Alright, well, uh, I'm not doing this in a storm. See? Storm. Yeah. <laughs> Check your power now. Yeah. Need to uh, turn. Uh, let's see. Um, let's get inside. I'm not going to do this in the storm. Uh, that'd be ridiculous. Hunger, also, I'm hungry. We should take a shower. Well, they're making near enough to blow with <laughs> heavy cables. Oh, are they? Oof. Um, maybe I don't want both of those then, maybe? Uh, let's see. Wind. Wind turbines, do you tell me your potential output? Potential max output? Uh, well, the wind turbine is optimized to produce power up to 500 watts. Um, or even on low atmosphere worlds, it performs best in denser environments. Um, output varies with wind speed and during storms may increase dramatically up to 10,000 watts. 
Ooh. So, uh, that's 10 kilowatts. So, up to, so both of those together potentially produce 20 kilowatts of power. Uh, and the heavy cable... Coil cable heavy can handle up to 100 kilowatts. So that's a fifth of what it can handle. So that's, um, yeah, don't put too many of those on the same, uh, same power generation loop. At some point, it'll be, uh, nice to, to separate those, but for now, mm. also, I need to replace a CO2 filter. Ended up this nitrogen filter didn't end up really doing anything. Blowing a heavy cable with a few large turbines on the same main line as the smalls. Yeah. I could see that if you had... Because each one of those is a potential 10% of the max, so... Let's get a drink. Put that away. Close our helmets. Um, where'd that potato go? There we go. Let's go ahead and eat this as well. Um, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take a shower while we're in here. So let's, uh, let's close these. And these four are large with, uh, yeah. I should stop throwing things in the middle of the frickin' floor where I'm walking. Liquid is at, that's still at 10, is this bugged? Because that still says it has 10 liters of water in it. And it's been... I have not recharged this liquid canister this whole time. We've gone through several cycles of growth here. Backpack. Uh, let's air off. Filter off. Take our... Whoop! Oh, okay. Note to self. Don't do that again. There we go. Nice and clean. Oxygen low. Yes, that's fine. Air on. Filters on. <laughs> Don't touch it. Enjoy the bug. Yeah, that's uh, that was my thought. While I'm growing these uh, temporary ones, we're just gonna enjoy the infinite water glitch. Uh, let's also go ahead and swap out our O2. Charge this one back up. Come on. Come on. Um, it's the trade-off for having invisible Venus Atmo pressure with your greenhouse? Yeah. That's, um... Oh, yeah, that's... I'll, I mean, I'll... I'm not sure that I, I like that trade-off, but, uh... We'll take it, I guess. Ag uniform. All right, and let's get ourselves another CO2 filter as well to go into the suit. Yeah, cause look at... It, I'm going through my O2 right now while I'm in there. Coming out here. Slows down a bit. Yeah. That's insane. Filter, uh, CO2, please. I need a couple of grams of iron. Here we go. Whoops. Give me that. That goes in there. Carbon dioxide filter. Let's make two of these. Uno, and this will be dose. And a, oh, my nitrogen filter went down to 99%. Ooh. Uh, give me this 100% filter. Throw 50 grams in there. Singular gram? Oof. Put in there. It's fine. Alright. Because uh, that nitrogen did go down one. I'm going to hold off on pulling it out because I do have two CO2 filters and a 
third spear right there for now. Uh, it take me a little while to go through them, so. All right. Storm still raging on. Still raging on. Let's see. What did I need for the advanced furnace? Um, kit advanced furnace. I need electronics printer tier 2. Have it. Uh, gold, copper, steel, electrum, solder, and silicon. Have all of those. Solder. Gonna need to grab more copper. Probably a bit more steel. I'm sure it's in one of these things somewhere. Iron, nickel, gold. Let's just turn this on so we can look at it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Advanced furnace. Let's go ahead and... I need solder and silicon. We have solder. Uh, I just threw my silicon into there. Did I put any silicon in here? One gram of silicon in there. Okay. Thank you. You may have the silicon. You may have this other one gram of silicon, so you have two now. And... Advanced Furnace. And then we'll have that. And that'll, uh... That'll go in place of this one eventually. Also, you're just holding pressure, but no temp. Uh, I don't think that's very valuable if I'm about to be ripping you out of here, so... Let's decrease that. Uh, check your batteries. Ooh, right. Station bat. God dang it. If I'm gonna keep this door open, I should probably just open the other door as well. Uh, ooh, storm's over. And batteries are... Ho, 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 ho! Basically all full. Nice. Gonna need insulated pipes uh, and a valve and some kind of uh, insulated tank uh, as well for the advance. Oh, okay, so uh, at least we'll have the, the unit made and then we'll start making all the other stuff as well. Uh, but that is done. And we have a bunch of stuff. So let's start with the sensor. Uh, daylight sensor. So. We need a daylight sensor. Um, daylight sensor. I need it to be. Processed. I, I want to say. Ooh. Uh, I'll have to put an APC over here. If this requires power. Uh, yeah, I'll have to put an APC out here to deal with all that. Uh, but let me think this through. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. Um, let's see. Uh, let's get a quick little reference. All right, so... Hmm. I need this to... Does it matter if it comes out directly into this, or do, should I just loop all these together? Which is better, I wonder. Um, hmm. Face... The port of the sensor north so well, I don't have a compass I don't know which way is north if we assume zero degrees is north then I need to face it that way uh, sun rises in basically that direction so that would be east so north yeah would be that that way uh, so let's go ahead and grab Uh, what do I need to pick this up? Probably a drill, I would assume. There we go. Uh, just loop it all. Yeah, that's that's what I figured would be simplest. All right, so if I need this to face 
This way. Uh, you don't have a compass. Uh, but there's suit uh, minus that goes from zero to three sixty. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do see that down at the bottom, and I assume zero is basically north, so that direction. Um, so let's go ahead and do that there, and then I don't need any other sensors. We have IOs, we have our memory units. i uh, put my drill away. Let's get our IOs. Our processor. Let's just drop a... Um, probably wanted frames here, so I had more floor space to work with, but uh, whatever. Alright, so let's go here. Let's go... Uh, I need a... I only need the one batch writer, I think. Uh, if I do batch writer here... We needed... Uh, hello all, hello William! Greetings! How are you? How do you do this fine day? All right, so daylight sensor. A nope, that's a math unit. I needed a no. Where's my ah memory? That's what I, I kept looking for. All right, so memory. I need. Two logic readers. Um, mm -mm. Logic mirror, batch writer, logic writer, logic reader. I need two of these. Yeah, I, I definitely need more floor space for this, but whatever. We're just going to work with it. Like that. I uh, needed the two readers. I need two batch writers. Uh, batch writer. Uh, have the math units, and that should be all we need, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, you need both batch... Okay, so yeah, I, yeah, I got that. I was going down the list, sorry. Um, alright, and then let's just loop all these together. Alright, so coming out of here. Let's go here. Ooh, crap, that was not the, the piece I wanted. Let's go here. Let's go here. Here. Ooh, wait, no. I need this side out this way. This is, whoops, nope. Again, greedy. Very efficient, inefficient layout I'm using, but whatever. Uh, there's no hole there. What am I? What am I doing? Don't need that. Don't need that. Probably just have it this way. <laughs> they didn't have a compass. Yeah. Hmm. I need this. I need probably just do. Yeah, you know what? I don't. I don't. I don't care. I'm just gonna link everything together like this. Uh, that needs power there, so do that. Do that. Do that. That. Uh, your power is here. Which means your power is also here. And you have power here. Oh, great. I missed a bunch of stuff. Don't you love that? Right, 
that. And like that. And then I guess it'll come out of here and tie into there. Oh. Okay, let's see. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> oh, this is disgusting looking. But if it works, it works, and I'll be happy, and I'll have a better understanding after this how the uh, circuit version of this, this works. So that's your tie-in that hits all three of those and then goes down that way and hits all three of these. But, uh, yeah. If this works, I'll have a better understanding of how to set these up. Uh, even if it doesn't work, I'll have a better understanding of how to set these up. Um, and, oop, I missed a port, apparently. There we go, just to make sure I didn't miss anything else. There's nothing on these ends. Nope, nope. There was one there, one there. One there. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, so we're all good to go on those. Now I just need to <laughs> set them up, which is going to be the part that hurts my brain. All three of these, these heads, well, yeah, I'm looking at the, uh, I'm looking at the rows. There's a row of three and then a row of three. So it gets these three and it comes down this way and gets these three for a total of six. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so. Oh, gosh. Logic memory. I need a screwdriver to be able to change all these. So get that in my hand. Um, north. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> brain makes me giggle. Yes, my brain also makes me do gigglies. Yeah. I say some, some awkward things sometimes. Uh, oh, right. I needed a... I wanted an APC over here uh, to make sure these all were supplied with power. Yeah, because that doesn't actually turn on right now, so... Um, stay quiet until the answer. Yeah, I'm going to try and logic it out. Well, yeah, my brain doesn't do logic. I'm going to try and uh, brute force it. Uh, which will probably not work. Uh, but that'll be okay. Uh, but I want to start with a um, power controller. That way we have a battery down there just powering everything. No APC, no, no. Why not? Wouldn't I want that uh, that set of circuits to always have power on them? Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get there. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's do this then. Let's do this. If you say no APC, we'll figure it out. No, not the labeler thing again. I have a labeler right here. Yeah, come on. Come on, what's what's the matter? Well, I, I got this. I think the APC can't handle the power load. Oh, well, I was just going to put it with a regular battery to just make sure all of these had power because I do have to power on each of these. Uh, when I get to it, but uh, it will be fine. Um, yeah, let me up. Uh, stinking thing. Okay, so in out. Um, <clears throat> hunger caution. Hunger ca caution. 
Oh, I'm at 30. For, yeah, it's, I, get, I, get a, I get a few minutes. Um, same as power over internet. Mm. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do the, God, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll just start with the math. Um, does the math go to... Reader, so I need math to go to my readers. My readers read the math and then do over to writers. Uh, I should probably label these for um, batch writer, uh, vert, batch writer. Hor for horizontal. Uh, I should do the same for my logic readers and writers for uh, vertical, and I should do one for horizontal uh, because once I start turning these, it's going to tell me, yeah, all kinds of other shenaniganeries that need to be doing. Um, ABS tan scoring. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, so this is already a math unit, so I don't need to change its name. Um. Do 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 do. Do I only need the one memory? Decrease, increase. Oh, you oof. Uh, all right, so, no, 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 no. Slowly think. Oh, logic reader. Um. Okay, so logic reader, horizontal. Uh, we, want, uh, we want our logic readers to be reading the daylight sensor uh, because it's giving me all of the horizontal and vertical things. So we want these to read the daylight sensor for both logic readers, if I'm not mistaken, uh, because they need to read that because they need to take in they need to take in the values from that then the uh readers need to push the um uh Oh, no, I don't need to change the variables. They're just reading it, and they're on this same loop, so they should pick up, I'm thinking, if I don't need to, because there's no out on this. It just says an in, and then a variable. I'm not worried about any variables. <clears throat> if uh, if we're doing that, so... Also, whatever this whoop value is supposed to be. Um, we'll just put it back at, uh, back at zero for now. Okay, so we're reading. It's all in the same loop. So it can then go to a... Um, so if that's what they read, the writers are going to take the red data and they're going to... You're horizontal, so you need to read... Um, you need to read the... Uh, Logic reader horizontal. 
uh, logic reader horizontal. You need to do the same for the logic reader vertical. Because uh, your batch writer vert. Um, oh, nope. Uh, how do I go? Cycle to. No, it's on batch writer vert. You're on. You are batch writer horizontal. Cycle to. So you're on horizontal for horizontal. You are logic reader vert for batch writer vert is what I need. And then uh, from there I need uh, uh, I need you guys. If you're the writers, you should be writing. Uh, you should be writing to the solar, I think. Um, the math unit in oh god what should be in on the math unit um, uh, I think I have the wrong math unit because this needs to be doing multiple things, doesn't it? I think I have the wrong math unit here. The other, I didn't even check. Are there other math units? Ah, there are other math. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Um, I just want regular math. Yes. Uh, because I need to do a... Um... Uh, you should be doing math from the, uh, you should be doing math from the readers because you need to get their data to do the calculations to do everything else. So let's do input one is, oh, I need my screwdriver again. Um, let's do input one as, uh. Uh, input one should be. So ask for helps. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna figure this out. I need to be doing math from the readers. Uh, so let's do. One is vertical. I need to go get food and water. Oof. Um, I want to read vertical, and I want to do the reader horizontal. Uh, let's go deal with our issues first because I'm going to get sucked into that and, and die um, here shortly. So let's go deal with this. Uh, this is painful, funny, but painful. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting there, I think. Um, just just let me in. I'm, I'm, I don't have the patience for this right now. Just, just, I just want a potato. Let me have a potato. Let me have water. There we go. Take this. Eat this. Ah, there we go. Close our helmet and let's get out of here. Uh, let's double check the power situation on our light. 53. We should be fine for now. Give me this back. Put this away. <laughs> Jeopardy music playing in the background. I just saw that comment. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let me not do that too much. My uh, my last Space Engineer stream gets uh, got hit. Uh, that ending music was apparently copyright. So uh, that was fun. No impact to the channel, though, if anyone's interested. Um, okay, let's see. All right, so back to the math thing. So we are getting our values in for our vertical and our horizontal. This should do the math to find the different angles 
to track on not just a singular axis. Um, and so we want our output to go to... Um, actually, the output should actually just be add, shouldn't it? The output should be add, right? Because I want for both things to happen. I want for the uh, vertical to read if it's, say, 32 degrees. But I also want, in addition to that, a horizontal axis of, like, 70. So I, I, it needs to say add. Um, so I don't need to touch this. I just need to leave it on add. Um, I can give you a choice. I can give you choice words to give to YouTube, but yeah, it's, uh, we'll we'll just we'll just let it be. That's yeah. It's more of a a, a case of uh, the music they used um, during that mod. Uh, Is a machinima was the thing for it. So yeah. Uh, memory states uh, value. Uh, we'll come back to the memory. So our readers should be good. I don't think I need to set any variable. No, I do need to set variables. Um, because this is just reading the in. The variable should be set to match that, right? Uh, yep, there's a horizontal and a vertical. Okay, yeah. So the value should be set to match what it's reading. Um, so the value should be set to match what it's reading. Uh, <laughs> may I make a suggestion? <laughs> uh, depends. Is it a spoilery suggestion? Uh, okay, so... The writers should read. Yep, they're in. They're taking in the correct things from there. Uh, we have to let the pain wash over us. Just enjoy the mental gymnastics. I don't feel like any of my mental gymnastics has been outright incorrect, though, at this point. If they're just blatantly wrong, do let me know. But uh, at this point, I don't think I've made anything that's like a glaring mistake other than, you know, I, I put down the wrong memory unit and had to go back and fix that. Uh, but most of the other things I think work out. Um, so these batch writers, so for vertical, uh, let's see. Actually, no, 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 no. I did make a, I did make something that was outright incorrect. I did do something wrong. Um, yeah, no, no, no. I don't want these batch writers getting their data directly from these logic units. I want them to get their data direct. I want them to get their data from the math unit. Uh, is there a math unit piece? Logic math, logic memory, logic reader horizontal, logic reader that's these guys no i don't want that batch writer i'm assuming i want logic math you shall find out if you're hunger right when you turn it all on yeah i guess uh either it'll work or it won't um yeah so i want them to actually get their stuff from the math unit I don't want them to be getting their things directly from the logic, uh, the readers. Um, I do want the batch writer to go. Uh, this is the vertical. Is there a, there's an out type and an out variable. Um, uh, the type. What kind? Of, what do I have? Logic reader, memory unit, logic math, daylight sensor batch, solar panel. Okay, so I want because these should be going out to write to those. So I want these to write to solar panel, and I want this to write to solar panel. So that's the type that should be going out. Uh, variables should match for whether or not they are vertical or horizontal. This is vertical. 
Let's change that to vertical. There was horizontal. I saw that already. Um, I need... If... I need, I need, I need, I need, I need... There. Out variable is horizontal. Yeah, horizontal and vertical are only two options in there. Um, logic reader, you read vert, you read horizontal. Uh, I do want them added together. And then I want... Um, hmm... I need to set the memory. That's the one thing I don't know what to set to. Logic memory. Logic memory state zero. Mm, is this supposed to be a reading of degrees? Should I just set this at if this reads 90 degree, don't let it go for, hmm. Uh, it's, all right, screw it. See if this blows up or I short everything out. Logic reader. Um, logic reader, uh, advert and horizontal are both zero. Subject, I do want them to add. Learn zero. Uh, actually, I didn't set anything to the memory, did I? Logic chip. Mm. <laughs> You're having trouble, Bard. Yeah. Uh, I'm having trouble. What do you mean Bard's having trouble? I'm having trouble. Nothing gets set to memory. Um, so I feel like I've... Miss this section here. Um, logic reader, batch writer, batch logic memory. See, there's a memory here, but I don't know if that's what should be getting added. Everything's cycled on. Uh, logic reader vert. Um, what are your readings reading? Yeah, that's a good question. What are, what are the readings reading? Uh, but they are reading Solar angle 67, horizontal 80, or is negative 81. Uh, vertical is 65. Uh, logic reader vert. <laughs> yeah. Why is vert reading zero if you're on the daylight sensor? Why would this then not be? Yeah, because you should be daylight sensor. And then you should be set to your respective uh, angle. But you're reading zero on that. Why? I cycle through all these. Oh, I can't... Uh... I can't, God dang it, this is, I can't cycle that anymore. Is it because it's on? Yeah, definitely because it was on. Uh, currently flashing an error. Yeah, that's, um, that's obvious. So it's set to, Daylight sensor equals zero. But 
the daylight sensor is not reading zero. Same with you, same with you. So what's, uh, what's up, Buttercup? Nothing is powered at the moment. Yeah, that's why I asked if uh, I should be putting an APC in. Oop, uh, go back. Uh, daylight sensor. But you said I shouldn't. Uh, I know I said no APC, um, but that was to stop you from creating a power loop. Uh, you do need an APC with a battery to jump start it all. Oh. Well, that's why nothing's reading anything. It's because, uh, because they're not reading anything. <laughs> so I did need an APC uh, just to start everything, and then I just pull it out then, I guess, right? Um, don't need an APC with a battery to jumpstart at all. Um, but you can't put power from that network into it. Uh, do I have an APC already made somewhere? Kit doors, that fridge we never put up, or I never put up. No, I don't. I don't have a power controller anywhere. I need some iron. Oh, uh, no, those are both lead. Hey, I right, two grams. That's not enough. I need five, right? Yeah. Iron. So we make a heavy basic solar panel uh, that doesn't have adjustments and face it east. A couple of power cables um, to the APC input. We're going to transformer from your workshop all the way back. Mm, probably not. Wait, I thought there was iron in here. Thank you. I ran. Let's do a quick little APC then, so we can get power going there. You off, you off. Oh, oh let's see. Uh, so I don't need this in woo, permanently here. I do want this in temporarily. Yeah, I just want an APC to, to push power into here. Wait, why will I... If you plug a heavy cable into that APC input... Oh, no, I'm not going to put in input. No, 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 no. I'm not going to put anything on the input. I just want the output to push power to here. I don't want to make a loop like this. No, 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 that's not what I want to do. It is, uh, it is decidedly not what I'm trying to get at. No, I just want to plug a battery into it. I don't want to, I don't want to attach it to power everything else. I'm not trying to pull anything off of the generation side to power anything to include all of these. Um, I want this to be specifically just to to work this stuff. Um, and eventually, I did see there were wireless batteries, so there has to be a wireless output thing that charges the batteries, and I'll have that on the other end of the loop, hopefully close enough to this to always keep it on. And there goes something. Uh, what popped? Where, where, where? And there it is. Why? Why did this pop if we didn't make that loop? I use heavy basics uh, for solar, two to three cables uh, from it, the APC input. Yeah. Uh, why did that pop, though? Also, I think that killed this battery. Uh, sure, shooting did. Why did you 
go kaboom boom. And are you the only one that went? Uh, APCs have no power limiters. Mm. Um, I think the... Ah, uh, okay. I discharge all of that instantly. Um, hmm. So to power all of this, then, I do need... You need something to power all this, then. If an APC won't work, uh, put that there. Let's pick this up. Oop, nope, that's close. Uh, but if an APC won't work to to grab to to power all this, um, I guess we will just go with a solar panel on the other side of it, and just have it manually facing the sun. Because that would, uh... That would be the... Uh, the better thing to do? Uh, solo! Uh, I just need something basic. So let's just make a basic solar panel. Please give it to me. Give me. Thank you. Ah, that advanced furnace is still there. Oh, uh, and it's dark. It's so dark. Oh crap, I needed uh I need frames and things to put this on. Uh also I don't need the APC, so mm. Actually probably nice to have that APC. Let's put uh I don't need the sensor. Uh this battery can go back over here. Because we're not going to do that again. We want to do... Uh, solar. Have the APC to just be an intermittent piece. I needed... Uh, steel frames and... Steel sheets. Wherever I put those. I know I didn't use them all up, did I? Hmm. Does anyone remember where I put my still sheets? Not on my person, unless I put them in there. Um, for whatever reason. Iron sheets. Mm, I should have steel to make more. Steel. Uh... Steel sheets. Here we go. Just make a few of these. I should just. Like... That's fine. I only really needed the one, but whatever. Huzzah! Well done, boys. Arc welder. All right, let's do a, put that tool away, put those down there. Still sheet can sit there and let's do, again, we'll put the APC back down here to go that way. Use the little basic solar panel, which means I'll have to wait till morning to get this thing kick started. That is fine. Heavy coils. Oh, I needed a piece of glass. There was something I was forgetting. All right, 
Piece of glass. Big old hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, glass, glass, glass. Huzzah. Solar panic basic will hurt. Yeah, the basic will get hurt. Uh, it'll survive one full storm, but um, will be destroyed in the subsequent storm. But yeah, now we just wait for some power. So all these can turn on to actually start, you know, reading things. And then it will start writing things. Uh, and then I'm certain I'm messing something up on the math unit here. Um, yeah, I'm certain. Certain there's something happening here that I'm not. Not doing right. Uh, but we'll leave it as is for now because this is grabbing from the math unit. But I don't think the math unit is grabbing from any of these. So. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we'll see what happens. Let's get away for some daylight. Yeah, batteries are doing fine. And while we wait for some daylight, let's um, let's take a gander at what uh, what this bad boy is gonna look like. Okay, so I have a liquids out, a gas out, a gas in. I'm assuming. Oh god, dang it! Then we have looks to be a couple of valve controls on the front end here. Um, input on the side, output on the other side. Okay, 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 okay. And likely can just do the same thing where we... Uh, can I actually do the same thing where I embed it in the wall like this furnace? I could just do the advanced furnace over here in a similar setup. Obviously, I want, uh, I want some other things. Let's actually put that in there. Let's get uh, let's get some tanks going. Actually, tank, um, kit portables tanks. No, I want kit tank for an actual tank. I need copper and steel. Steel and copper. Look at that. Let's see that. Let's get one of these. Uh, you may want insulated, yeah. Probably. Probably, probably. Um, made the one tank, and this will give me small tanks. Or if I make more, I can do large tanks. Uh, what's the what's the limit? Uh, small tank. Oh. They're insulated tanks, too. Mm. Tank. Uh, kit tank insulated. Yeah. Silicon and steel. Okay, so I have that. I'll probably use that for a... Um, for a different gas storage. Uh, I'm sure we'll find a use for it. Two grams of silicon. Because that's helpful. Steel, steel, electrical, solder, silicon is literally everything is in this thing. Thank you for the silicon. I needed some of your steel as well. Let's 
do an insulated tank. I can only do the one I am coming short on silicon and steel. Have I really already gone through all that silicon? I guess I did make a ton of windows, didn't I? Hmm. Yeah. Be nice if I, uh, I consolidated a lot of this stuff, too. Uh, solder, steel. I'd like your steel out of here. Of course, it's the last thing that comes out. Give me that. There's an insulated tank. And let's get some insulated pipes. Okay. Uh, kit pipe insulated. Um, that'll give me 16. Yeah, might as well do all those. Alright, let's go have a drink. A drink! Oh, man. Thank you. Let's drink, 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 drink. Got it. That there. And close that up. Looks like we got these boys are barely growing towards fruiting. Uh, growing poorly towards fruiting. Growing poorly. And barely growing. I'm sure it's because it's... Oh, crap. It's 41 degrees in here. That's got to be why. Um, yikes. Okay, so I'm going to want to cool this down. Uh, do I have... Mining belt? Yeah, I've got a bit of oxide on me. Couple of those. Oof, yeah, that barely. Give me that. 41 degrees and 90. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little warm in here. All right, that, that barely brought it down, but I'm up to 98 um, kPa. Uh, but the temperature, I'm going to need to bring probably that portable AC into here for now. Um... Yeah. You sit there, friend. Yeah, probably use that portable AC to uh, to drag that temperature down. For now, until I get, you know, a better AC system. But that place is only supposed to be temporary. It is not supposed to be used for the long haul. Gonna have to leave you. I uh, gotta make dinner. Ah, go to bed. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping by, Bart. Appreciate you. Uh, turn to crispy lettuce at 50. Yeah. Um... That'll be fun. Thank you for stopping by, Bard. Appreciate you. Thanks for the donuts as well. All right. Uh, cycle back in. Let's deal with the temperature. And the sun is back up, so I need to run back out there and check that. Uh, catch the rest of the VOD. Absolutely, man. It'll be up for you whenever you're ready. All right. That's close enough. Let's... um. Oh, and my air tank's low. Oof. Uh, actually, I forgot it was only a small battery in here. So it's cooling down. Let's swap out our air tanks. Cooling down. I should probably also open this, and that's going to push the temperature up again. But this is only going to be... Yeah, for a little bit. Uh, actually, I could probably let that whole battery run through in here 37 yeah and it's it'll only buy some time for that uh but let's go back out now that the sun's up cancel pressurization uh i remember a time those kits didn't uh compact down and taste the careful things Ooh. all right so you're generating 97 3 watts 93 watts 94 watts all right, so you're on... Oh, I need to... 
Okay, so nothing blue. Is that actually passing power if there's no battery there? I hope I hope it is. These are all still reading zero. The red, so this is currently flashing air. Currently flashing an air. It's just on off. You don't matter. Yeah, I know you're all flashing errors. But you don't look like you're flashing, so. I'm inclined to say just remove this and put, um, oh, I don't have any more heavy cable. Rut row raggy. Is there anywhere I can get a piece of heavy cable back? Eh, probably just quicker to make one, right? Pray to the gods they didn't decide to bite you. 50% deal and damage, yeah. Um, no. Coil, cable, heavy, uh, gold and copper. Gold, copper. Gold, copper. Oh, god dang it. Uh, actually, I have heavy coil cable. It's right here. Stack of two and stack of eight. There we go. Locker. Yeah, just saw that. Thanks, William. I appreciate you. Oh, I'm running around like a crazy guy. All right, all of you didn't change in color at all, so... Hmm. Yes, I did already forget that stack in the locker. All right, so none of those changed. Um, so is this just not pushing enough power? 167 watts, 166, it's going down. Oh, God, the sun's already most of the way through. And is none of the power from that side able to come back this way? It should be able to. Off on. Uh, all right. At this point, I think I'm going to ask, why isn't it powering on? Um, should have had enough power there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand that. Why none of these are, are powering on a, at a minimum. Because they should at least come on and tell me that there's something else going on, right? Because they don't look like they've changed at all. I can't even tell that they're on. None of these cables in between are burnt out. They're all plugged in still. Uh, because I'm able to read all these things. Off. On. Uh, yeah. What's, uh, what's up with that? Yeah, you're down to basically nothing now, but shouldn't matter too much, right? Uh, yeah, why are you not powering on? Okay, for troubleshooting, just cut the Cable to the station batteries. All right. There. Drop the APC down. Uh, throw a battery into. It. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because then I won't. I also won't have that power loop. So. All right. There we go. Let's open this up, and I'll go grab a battery. Hmm. 
Yeah, me no likey that it's no, uh, no do thingy it's supposed to. There and on. Yeah, see, now they're all up. They're, they're flashing the airs, but that's okay. Um, I expected them to flash airs. Well, I mean, the uh, closer to the batteries, uh, now you can't affect the solar panels and just... Oh, you mean... Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that is also... That's a very valid thing. Um, let's make a little snippy snip, then. On the other end here... We can put that back in line. Uh, okay, so the the riders are fine then, it seems. Zero. Their state is zero. State is 90 for the batch rider vertical. <clears throat> oh, all flash errors. Uh, there's no solar panel on the net. Yeah. All right, so the readers are giving me errors. Currently flashing an error. Uh, daylight sensor is zero. Um... It's not entirely true. Daylight sensor. Why does it say mode default? Is there a different mode on this? I don't see anything to change for modes. But whatever. <clears throat> Alright, so... The logic readers are the problems, but they're set to daylight sensor. Is that not what I should be reading from? Um, I should be reading from the daylight sensor. And... Oh, they all stop flashing because probably it's nighttime. Uh, always power off all the chips. Uh, you start screwdriver and the knobs. Um, let's power everything off. Power, power. Power off. Yeah. Now I'm not sure I can do anything because it is dark again. Which sucks. Which does suck. I would like to very much solve this out, at least. Uh, yeah, the logic readers were flashing errors. You have an APC with a battery? Yeah. Is that the error? They, that shouldn't be the error they were giving me. I shut that off. Hmm. Uh, that shouldn't really matter, actually. Just leave that on for now. Hunger caution. Oh, uh, the APC is... Oh. Did I flip it off at some point? Hmm. Hunger caution is fine for now. We'll wait for critical. Flashing there. Yeah, now the APC's on. Yeah, yeah. I didn't remember flipping that off. Um, hmm. Okay, so, you turn on, fine. You turn on and you flash an error. Uh, you're set to none, apparently. Daylight sensor... Yeah, why did you change from horizontal to none? Active horizontal? Yep, you're fine now. You're flashing a... You're on none as well. Why did y'all change? Nope, oh, and they're moving. Why did those change from... I could have swore I set those variables to be vertical already. Uh, but now they all move. I assume they now track the the solar. And I shouldn't need this battery in here. 
right? And when the sun comes back up, this should catch enough power to power all these. And I should be safe to reconnect this stuff, right? Why did, um... Yep, nothing blue. Perfect. Yeah, so they all powered on. They all started tracking. Uh, and they went that way. Which I think the sun comes up that way. <coughs> what did... Uh... You flip it off uh, when you cut the cable closer to the battery. Um, they are running uh, off your solar power alone. Ah. You cut the cable and solar print. Oh, right. When I cut that cable. So it broke some of these. Oh. Logic math, vertical, solar panel. Solar panel. Um, the flat panel isn't facing east um which is what i suggested to do um but it'll get uh some power sometime during the midday hmm oh well yeah i guess i could i could pick this up and do this take this and then a drill Drill, give me this. Yeah, because that, that should be east then. So I figured being flat, it should have been fine. Uh, but I got time to rectify some of this. We'll put it there and we'll change the wires over and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Put that there. Um... Yeah, build me some steel sheets, please. And we'll fix some uh, some of that shenanigans before the sun comes up. Make sure we're good to go on that end. Alright. Just give me these few. Should be all I need for the short term. Mark Welder. Just build one frame uh, upward and place it flat and east-facing. Uh, should be more than enough power. Yeah, it's... Uh, I had it like this. So this should have been enough power. Because that's east-facing. Because that's north. There's east. Um... So do I not need it up and angled? So this should be... This should have gathered enough... During the day. Mm. Yeah, whatever. I'll put that back, uh, and we'll see how that, that operates anyhow. Do that, and let's put that back in. There we go. That back. Put these back away. Yeah, that should gather enough. Um, unless you're telling me to get one of these uh, regular solar panels and not the, the basic boy. Alright. So once that get light... These should all get enough power to detect the sun and then grab this. Uh, and my final thing is, I I don't know what this memory should be set to. Because uh, I don't have any definition of what this state means, given only a base value. So, 90, I don't know if that, I don't know what that 90 does. If we're adding the vertical plus the memory, is the memory holding 90 and it's adding vertical to 90? Hmm. What? 
Yeah, I'm get, I'm just gonna ask, what should the memory be set to? That's uh, uh it's what I can't. It's what's not fitting into my brain in this whole whole loop here. Because if I'm constantly reading the sun, I couldn't. My brain doesn't get why we need a memory if we're constantly reading the sun, taking those values to the math unit, adding them together to get our overall angle, and then taking the batch riders to write each angle for vertical and horizontal over to the um, the solar panels. What does the memory do, and what should it be set to? That's uh, that's what I don't get. Also, I need food. Let's try and do so as the sun comes up and lose a minimal amount of time trying to troubleshoot. Right. Quick, 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 quick. Go in. We. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. And that's close enough. I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah. Potatoes, please. Potatoes. 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 Mmm. Taters and gravy. Go ahead and consume a potato. From 16 to 96. Okay, so it gives me 80%. Uh, we'll drink while we're here, too, as well, I guess. Here we go. Close that. Our temperature is down to 36 in here. Uh, I have a spare battery. How about you just run with that for now? 36, 35. Oh, sun's up. Um, that'll take a while to get that room down. Come on, baby. Oh, cancel. Let me go, let me go. I gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, why are you guys off? On. Why are you guys all, um, all off? Um, yeah, all of you guys are off. Why? Uh, you're at zero watts. Why? Um, um, give me this. Yep, 325 watts. You're all still off. Off, on. Um, Uh, also, my chat froze in my OBS for some reason. Uh, just open up YouTube. It's it's whatever. Uh, give me this for chat. Please and thank you. Uh, bloody YouTube. Uh, basic works. Uh, it's key place uh, up in east. So, okay, so... Sorry, I missed a lot of that then. Um... That's facing up, not east. That's now facing east. But now why 350 watts? Is that not enough for these? Why is um why is this stuff not powering now? Give me this. Oh, now they're all on. So they turn on, and woo, that's not where you're supposed to be looking. 
Hey, y'all are facing... Zero. North. East. South. West. Uh, y'all are not really tracking. Uh, Chat is rejecting pretty much every message I type at the moment. Ooh, that's not good. Um, so basically, meter now. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it would be blocking anything you're typing. Um, yeah. Okay, so things only work or are on if I don't have connection. Yeah, the second I connect that, everything shuts off. What the? All right, so disconnect it. Um, yeah, so everything only turns on when I disconnect from the main station battery area. Is it because it's prioritizing power down that way? Because the batteries are trying to suck up all the power that's being generated? Yeah, that's new. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I don't know what's happening or how to prevent that. Because this loop has to be on this side of the whole power network. Also, why aren't these actually facing the sun? I must be doing something wrong. Uh... Yeah, what is stopping y'all from actually incrementally moving? Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, why are you... It's like they're misaligned somehow. Uh, panels are backwards. Uh, flip the sensor 180 degrees so it'll track the correct way. Oh, okay. Um, so the sensor needs to go and get flipped. A uh, flippida. A uh, flippida do. Give me this. You said flip it 180 degrees like that? Uh, let's just flip the sensor 180. Uh, that's probably a quicker and easier fix. There we go. Alright, uh, right. All these are... Shut you off. Shut you off. I now need a... Patch Rider, Daylight Sensor, Daylight Sensor on and on. Nope. Uh, oh, right. I have to set the uh, the variables. Horizontal. Horizontal and your vertical. On and on. There we go. And... Oh, oh, nope, they're still going, still going, still going. And, okay, so they stopped short again. So I feel like it needs to face this way. Or this way. Um, uh, hmm. Yeah, because that's not right, still. Yeah, let me try... Yeah, 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 yeah. Understand. Uh, let me try doing this. Whoops. Ah, crap. No. Let me try that. 
you on. You guys have to get changed back to daylight sensor. Daylight sensor. Vertical and horizontal. On, on. Uh, but then again, your uh, greenhouse. Something's weird. Uh, your network should have all power. Yeah, when everything's connected. But these all power down. Uh, let's see if that fixed that. If they stop. Yes, okay, so this needed to go... What is this? Uh, 270. So if, assuming zero was north... Um... It's now facing, the port is west, the head of it is going east. So I guess that, but if I did, I reconnect this. Yeah, everything on all of my things dies. And they literally just had power a second ago. I don't understand. Yep, they turn on. They turn off. Uh... Yeah, I don't, uh, I, that doesn't, hmm, this doesn't make sense in my brain why this is getting depowered when I connect that to the main grid section that way. Yeah, not supposed to happen. Um, I've got nothing, yeah, yeah, I got nothing either. Um, hmm, yeah, because there's. Trying to think, uh, like, there's no transformer or anything that would stop the power from getting sucked out of this and not going. Reload game? Uh, I could try that again uh, and see, because whether or not that's on, I should be able to... Yep, so they're on. They're off. All right, uh, let's quick save it. Done. Let's leave the session. Exit. It's fine. Let's load the world. Load world. We'll try this before we fully close the game again. Um, oops. All off. Power low. On. Off. Hmm. Uh, wires work like pipes. Uh, they have all that power in every cable at any moment. Uh, should be powered because the solar is getting power. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it should be getting power that those are powered and that these are going. Should have power all on this side. But it's acting like whenever the network is connected to these, these are acting like such a huge sink that uh, none of the power can stay on this end long enough or in great enough volume to charge all of these. Windmills? Um, yeah, I'll just disconnect the windmills. Nope. But if I disconnect... Uh, if I disconnect that... Um, well, I mean, they're all off now uh, because there's no power, but if I reconnect the windmills... Yeah, they all come back on! Alright, uh, let's at least get this power into our batteries. Yeah. You make no sense. You you know do what you you should be do. Why you no do? Me want no. I also want to see. Let's get back in the freaking hab. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. It's all the... The circuits are like, yeah, nah, man, like, uh, you're not actually going to be able to use us. Uh, maybe it's just the game's way of telling me to hurry up and learn the MIPS side of thing and just use that. But I don't know if that would help anything, because if I write the MIPS stuff to do it, um, yeah, if I write the MIPS stuff, I still need power to the chips that house all of the the things to run the MIPS to do, you know, the stuff. And those chips wouldn't be getting 
power to actually work if those ones aren't getting power to work. But it's only when I'm connected to this side of things. Like it hates me. Hmm. Um, let's swap out batteries. Uh, you need to pull up all the panels, um, and use the dual port, uh, to use MIPS. Uh, I mean, if it comes to that, like, there, what else? I don't have any other recourse. We would have to do it that way. Um, so I wouldn't be, you know, chuffed about doing that. Network analyzer? Uh, oh yeah, we could grab the, the network analyzer. Airlock, uh, tracker, network analyzer. Here we go. Put that away. Let's put, uh, open up our tool belt again. Put those away. Let's grab this. Let's grab this. Swap out the Atmos for this. And let's just, the uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just, ah! Uh, can write your solo tracking for Mars. It's simple. Uh, well, if it's simple, I'd like to um, I'd like to use it as my my test and proving grounds. For now, when solar, yeah, potential. Yep, it's at twenty kilowatts, and that's both of these solar boys or these uh, wind turbines, both producing um, ten kilowatts so 20 kilowatts coming in yeah i don't think this is going to give me any valuable information if i look at these chips yeah no oh. oh wait hold on these are all on now yeah these are all on that uh in even though it's connected to the uh the thing is it because there's an excess of generation like what's going on here Full, almost full, about halfway. Yeah, all those chips are on now. So they're all on and doing a thing. Hmm. What changed to make you, uh... Uh... You need cable coils, too. Uh, because the chips will apparently need to be powered from the workshop side. Uh, and the data run down the frames to the panel, panels, YouTube, um, spitting errors in the chat when I type. Oh, I don't know why you, that's, yeah, I, yeah, why is YouTube giving you errors for something like that? That shouldn't, um, yeah. But the problem is, if I pull power from the, the workshop side to power all the chips, I then have to... Uh, I can't have all these loops. I have to have all the power dedicated on one line. Oops, sorry. Have all the power dedicated on one line. And then all the datas can still be looped together to go a different way. But I'll have, I need more space to kind of line all these chips up correctly then. So I can get power all on one end and drag it down and over. And then all the, um... All the other stuff on the other end to go elsewhere. Uh, so yeah, maybe um, maybe looping all this isn't gonna work because uh, my game is doing things it shouldn't be doing. Um, yeah. So I'll get uh, I'll get all these you know, unlooped. We'll get power on one set, data on a different set. And then data pushes that way, and then power will be drawn from, I mean, I guess the workshop. I guess I'll run up this, this span. We'll come off of here and run this span over and then power the chips. I'll put all the powers here and then have all the data here still loop together for the data stuff and then just push it into there. Uh, oh, a solar panel broke. Uh, oh, a door was open. Oh, shun of up. Well, there goes that. I got... 
I got wreckage. Uh, let me get some duct tape to fix all these. Uh, but I think that only happened because the door was open. Maybe I should have that closed. And that the storm has stopped. Yeah, everything, uh, everything shut off again. So these were only getting powered because there was so much power being generated that the batteries were at their max input size. So, son of a... All right, all right, all right. First things first, duct tape so I can fix my panels. And I hope that only happened because I had uh, the door open and forgot about it. Uh, I do need a ton of duct tape then. Duct tape needs iron. Iron, iron, iron. Is any of that chilling on the ground? Iron, 18. Making duct tape. M -m 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 making duct tape. Hey, 53 days without dying. Looky, looky. <laughs> I need a bunch of this duct tape, actually. If we're being honest. That can go there. Those can go there. Um, I'll make a new solar panel later to get uh, put into the fold. Alright. I'll swap these back out. Put the network analyzer over here for now. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let me get these repaired. Hopefully, that only happened because uh, I had the door open, and that won't happen when the door is closed. Fingers crossed. Panel is not damaged. Get this guy. Panel is. Still damaged. Let's finish this off. There we go. Patching, patching the solar panels. Yeah, great. Ah, so I'll be a few more days without um, without that good, good solar tracking. Figure Discord messages. Uh. uh you get two seconds. Um, pretty much muted here, really. I wonder why YouTube's doing that. I don't chat too much or YouTube is having issues. Uh, it's got to be having issues. Because, um, yeah, you should be limited to... I don't have any slow chat on. Live stream. Oop, hold on. Go, uh, go chat here. Yeah, there's no, um, nothing enabled for, yeah, I don't have any, hmm, I'm mad that it's doing that. Oh, yeah, YouTube's stuttering on me when I go into, uh, when I go into look at things. Live chat, live reactions. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And there's nothing. Yes, yeah, slow mode is not enabled, so you should be able to chat as much, as much as the YouTube servers will let you. Yeah, not sure what's up with that. But uh, oh well. I guess. Yeah. I wonder if that's why my, um, my Discord side of things keeps, uh, keeps effing up. Not my Discord, my, um, oh, more wreckage, yay. Uh, close that. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to separate all those, but, uh, uh, I'll get to that in the next one. So I'm going to wrap it up. We're, you know, just uh, 10 or so minutes shy of uh, 
of that five hour mark again. But um, yeah, we get a, we get a fair little bit done here. I uh, I blew up the shop once. Uh, I didn't die. Still day fifty three. No deaths. Uh, love it. Uh, we had some heat. Ooh, actually, uh, I should go back in here. I have heat problems in here, and I have the AC running. I just cancel it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yep, shut that off. Two degrees. Ooh. Hey, can you heat this back up? Crap. And yeah. That potato plant's dead. Yep. Uh, you are almost dead. You are not, uh, but you're barely growing. Oh, great. Give me this. Crap, I forgot about this. Cooling off the area in here and now. Uh, uh, but like I said, we'll have to uh, deal with why ever the heck the, the solar chips aren't, um, you know, doing the thing they're supposed to do the proper way. But, uh, yeah. So, that is it for this one. Thanks, everyone, who, uh, you know, stopped on by. Thanks for chatting it up. Blew up the workshop. Created a Venus Hatmo. Two huffing bug. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I've got, uh, I've got all kinds of awkwardness going on here, don't I? That's 10%. Uh, I managed to basically kill my potato plants. Uh, yeah. Any with YouTube chat errors and problems? Yeah, it's uh, never fun, never fun. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, that potato plant hopefully is going to make it. Uh, looks like it's on a little bit of an upswing, but uh, yeah. We'll deal with all these problems and plenty more, I'm certain. Fingers crossed I don't have more, but I'm certain there's this and many more shenanigans to come. So, again, thanks everyone who stopped by. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for everybody who donated. Appreciate y'all. And, uh, yeah, I will, uh, I will be back probably this Saturday. Uh, I haven't decided with what game yet, but um, if you're over on the uh, my Discord side of things, uh, you've already dropped me some suggestions, and I greatly appreciate those. Uh, I'll finish, you know, kind of sorting through them, seeing what uh, I feel would be best for, for streaming for us over here. But, uh, yeah. Until then, bye, everyone. Thanks for stopping by again. And remember to stay safe out there. Bye-bye.